Why did you go out in the queen's car without informing her? I'm sorry about that, Your Majesty. I never knew I'm restricted from using some things in this palace. I thought that as I have become a wife, that I have unhindered access to everything. You have no access on things that has to do with me. You have proven to be a troublemaker. Now I am ordering you never to lay your filthy hands on anything that has to do with me in this place. Enough, woman! I am still talking. Kotsi demands that you shut up and listen until I'm done. Why do you claim to know everything whereas you know nothing? Your Highness, are you listening to this low life and decided to give a life? You are the low life one. You have no life, so saying you gave another life is lying before the king. Are you mad? Champions, you slap anyhow. Come on, take those filthy hands off me. Don't you listen? You are a disgrace. I'm disappointed in you. I regret the day I get back to you. You are a disgrace to manhood. Unyala. Mother, respect yourself, please. Don't oh, shut up! My husband does not care about that. For your information, he has been the real man here by not allowing you to control him. Hey, 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 she has to return my mother's car keys. I promise she will never go close to that car again. The key now belongs to me. My lord, very soon our son will finish his studies abroad and come back to this kingdom. That's correct. I'm already planning on how to work on him in a grand style. My lord, I think we should choose a maiden for marriage and present to him on his arrival. That would be the best thing we can do for him. Mm. I think you have a point. Thank God we already have a laid down tradition on how the crown prince selects his wife. All we need to do is set plans in motion to that regard. My lord, this time we are not going to tow on the part of our tradition. Why? Because girls of nowadays cannot be trusted. They are like wolves in sheep clothing. Significant percentage of these girls live fake lives. That makes it difficult to trust women of nowadays. And we must not make mistake when it comes to choosing a wife for our son. Hmm. So, what do we do? I think we should choose four beautiful maidens to be tutored by me in this palace. Anyone that we find worthy to be the next queen will be presented to our son on his arrival. Oh, what a beautiful idea. <laughs> And for you to come up with this means that you have figured it out. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, why not go ahead and do it? Let's see how it works. Consider it done, my lord. <laughs> officially inform you that the heir apparent to the throne will be back to this country in a few months from now. And for that reason, my wife the Queen has done so well to select these four elegant ladies. So beautiful. They will 
will be under her guide and tutelage for some weeks, or if not months. And which of them that is selected will be handed down to the prince on the day of his arrival? I, I am sorry, Your Majesty, but I, I am compelled to redirect you because it is very clear to me that you are, you are thrilling off. Your Majesty, what I am saying is that um, we have a tradition in this kingdom as it concerns the marriage of the prince, the crown prince. Looking at the maidens that are selected here, one can see the excitement. That means they are happy with this procedure that the royal family has adopted. But that is not in line with the tradition of our kingdom. That this procedure may have worked in other kingdoms does not mean it is going to work here. I am insisting as men in council, as men, saddled with the responsibility of protecting the cultural heritage of this kingdom, that we stick to our tradition and not do something else. What is wrong with you? You don't have any right to interrupt the king. You can only ask a man whether he slept well or not. That is when the man must have gone to bed and woke up. Is your mother, what is your problem? What I am saying is that the king is just about to present his topic. You should have waited for him to finish before presenting your observations. Why are you making it appear as if I have interrupted the king? Did he complain in any way? That he didn't complain doesn't mean he enjoyed what he did. No one has the right to interrupt the king. And as a matter of fact, without mincing words, the king demands that you tender an apology and that with immediate effect. What is wrong with this man? Why are you setting me up against the king? I am not setting you up against anybody. I'm only telling you what I saw from the facial expression of the king. Irwad Rodogum. Irwad Rodogum, why you call? Why are you making the case of the It's okay. It's okay. You push should stop this banters and allow the king to finish his presentation. Before, if there is any question, we will ask. Eh? Allow him. Let us calm down. Monsieur Nunkere de Gumisha, you man. Um. My people, I agree with don't know that we have a laid down tradition as it concerns selecting a wife for the crown prince. Unanolia. But I believe that the tradition is meant for us and not us for the tradition. You will also agree with me that marriage is a family affair. Because it is said that it's he who wears the shoes that knows where it pinches. On that note, I would want to plead with this noble body to please allow my wife to continue with the new style that she has already started. Oh, yes. Um, ladies, please take a bath. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Oh, yes. I bet you the Crown Prince will be thrown into confusion when he comes back. Why did he say so? What I am saying, Onyeze, is that the selected maidens are all gloriously beautiful, just like the queen that selected them. The crown prince may not know the one to select. And may I correct you in this case? 
My son will not be part of the selection. One of them must have been selected even before his arrival. And the chosen one will be presented to him on his return. Uh, uh, please, Your Majesty, I am sorry, but I, I beg to be allowed to ship in my observation. I mean, my conviction. You have already overruled everybody. And as it is, this new procedure is already in place because the maidens are already here in the palace. But I need us to understand something, that the young man we are talking about here is not just any young man. He's not just any prince. We are talking about the crown prince of this kingdom, the one who is going to become king after you. I am pleading that the specific task of that young man, selecting the woman who will become his wife, I mean the woman who will carry his weight most nights, or even every other night, should be his responsibility and not the responsibility of someone else. with me, right? But you're eating towards your disqualification. Allow me to bother myself with that. What? Mm. You know what? I they will know. only get to bury anyone with what he or she has eaten. I don't even know why they find you worthy to be here in the first place. <laughs> Did they pay you? Never. You know why? The reason is simple. The prince will not even look at you twice, not to talk of considering you for marriage. Look at this fool. Her mother sells ogiri and osisa. Talking back at me! Never you mention my family in your chapters again! Never you! Face me because I am facing you. Next time you put my family in your talk again, I will slap you. I will slap you. <laughs> so, my presence is giving her trouble. All over, fire on! <laughs> mm. All over. Mm. I can see you are enjoying yourself. Yeah, so, do you care to join me? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, the queen demands to see you right now. Hey, where is she? She's at the garden. Okay, okay. Wait, out of my way! Ma? Ma, you sent for me. What is this? What, my queen? Take a look at yourself. <sighs> Mama, Ma, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Ma. I tried to clean up. You're, You're a pig! <laughs> what was I thinking when I chose you? I'm sorry, Ma. Ma. Get out of my sight! Get, get, get out! <laughs> I really like that girl. Then go 
for her now. See, the problem here is that she does not even want to listen to me. That is because you have not pressed the right button. Right buttons? Yes. How do you mean right buttons? What I mean is that... Um, what do you think you are doing? Admiring the hard work of God. Don't tell me you have feelings for her. If I do, is it a bad thing? Of course it's a bad thing, because she belongs to the prince. Not yet, until one of them is selected. I will continue to admire not only her, but all of them. Hmm. Don't tell me you have problems with women, and you are working in a the palace. They will throw you in the palace cell one day. That will never happen because I'm not a rapist. I am a smooth operator, and when I move, I move like a guy. Well, if you like, lost from now to tomorrow, they will never look your way. I've said my own. Don't be too sure. Didi, why are you stressing me? I don't understand. How do you mean I'm stressing you? I've been following you from the village square, talking to you, but you wouldn't listen. Because there is no need to listen to you. Yes. Okay. What do you want from me? And Didi, and Didi, I love you. Yes. I love you so much. See, <laughs> everything about you, I, I like it. Okay? <laughs> Just give me a chance and you will not regret it. Love. Take a good look at me. Can you afford me? I mean, can you maintain this body? <laughs> That is not a problem. See, when you see a man that has money, you will see confidence all over him. He talks with panache, with courage, with bravery. Just say yes to me. I can I maintaining a woman is very, very expensive. And I wouldn't want to be the one to liquidate the small crayfish business you sell in this village. Because I'm very, very expensive, as you can see. <laughs> um, that, that really means you really don't know Ekene very well. And you're really underestimating me. See, Ndidi, crayfish is not the only business I do. Right. And moreover, I don't sell crayfish in small, small scales. I bring a lorry load of crayfish, okay? And my distribution network in this village is first class. Hey! I have enough money to spend on you. Please, I don't have time for you because men are full of lies. I don't believe you. I get... Baby! You're getting it all wrong. All men are not liars, and I'm exceptional, okay? I'm not lying to you. Just, 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 just accept me, my love. Please don't call me your love, because there's nothing between us. Oh, yes. There is nothing between us, because you are still dragging your feet. You are still not wanting to let go. Say, Andere. Say yes to me and your upkeep from now will be my responsibility. See, any man that loves a woman 
will spend for the woman. And I have enough. I want to lavish you with that money of mine. That car you see there is not only the car I drive. Don't disappoint me, please. I am too fragile. I wouldn't want any man to break my heart. Come on. Any man that will break the heart of a beautiful woman like you is a beast. And it's not a Kenny. See, I will take good care of you. See that? Can we seal this with a hug? Sure. <laughs> mm. So, um, I don't know. How about you coming over to my place by the weekend? Sure, I will. It's okay. Okay, if you don't mind, hop in. Let me give you a ride. No, no, no. I'm almost close. Yeah. Are you sure? I will see you by the weekend. Are you sure? Right, okay, you. waiting. Bye. All right, baby. All right. <laughs> uh huh. Hey, <laughs> uh -huh. Can you believe what just happened? What happened? Make a guess. Because I'm not in the mood to guess anything. So you can go ahead and say whatever you want to say. Oh my dear, oh my. Why are you always harsh to me? I'm harmless, you know. My problem with you is that you poke nose into things that do not concern you. And that is gossip. And I hate women who gossip. Yes. Hold on. Are you indirectly calling me a gossip? <laughs> that is unacceptable. I need you to withdraw that. Okay, withdrawn. So, what is it? <laughs> you see, you are interested in the same matter you called me a gossip for. Oh, whatever. I hate girls who pretend. Whatever. Well, the queen just gave Oloma a hot slap. Why? Because she appeared before the queen very dirty. Oh. <laughs> that girl disgusts me. Mm. At times I wonder if she takes her bath on a daily basis. Mm, I wonder the same thing too. <clears throat> if I had my way, I would have thrown her out of this palace. Yes. We can plan it. That way, we will reduce the number of contestants. We can plan it. Of course. Are you sure? Yes. We can plan it. Of course. I feel your pains, but it's also part of the training. <sighs> the training? Does it include humiliation? Does it include belittling me? Oh, Mama, it's okay. Come on, it's okay. <laughs> Honestly, I'm in pain. I just, I just feel like crying, right? Aloma, listen. Even if you cry from now till tomorrow, it's not going to change a thing. Come on, you have to stop. Honestly, if this happens again, I'll just leave this palace. Don't talk like that. You might be the lucky one. Oh yes, the prince may choose you at the end of the day. So they want to throw all that away because the queen slapped you? Come on, think. No. no. I'm not giving up again. That's the spirit. In fact, we move. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Esther. You have once again proven to me that we are not here for war. We are here to try our luck 
and leave the rest to our chief. Other ladies would have advised me to leave the palace as to reduce the number of the ladies in the house. I wouldn't do that. Mm -mm. Like you said, we're all here to do our best and leave the rest to God. But please, on a more serious note, do not appear before the Queen looking like that again. I don't want to keep the Queen waiting. That was why I just, I just came out like that. Taking a minute to go wash off your hands before answering the Queen wouldn't have amounted to a waste of time. You don't have to appear before the Queen like that anymore. Alright? Thank you. Different characters of this, and look at the good of this. Gary, my daddy, to hot this. You go hot, you go hot, you go red, you go red. Hey, hello, I'm going to go. Oh, yes, I'll greet you. I can egg. You're welcome. Please sit down. Thank you. I hope all is well. I'm an hour. I'll wear that on our safe. Your Majesty, I am going to go straight to the point in explaining the reason I am here so that you wouldn't have a reason to believe I wasted your time. I will appreciate if you do. Your Majesty, I have this feeling that one of the maids in this palace, I mean those who are under the tutelage of the Queen, the ones that are being groomed for the Prince, I have a very strong feeling that one of them is here with ulterior motive. Ulterior motive? Yes, Your Majesty. In my palace? Uh, which of them do you suspect? The one called Esther. Esther. With ulterior motive. Anyway, do you have any evidence to substantiate your claim? Your Majesty, I do not have any evidence right now. But something right on the inside of me is telling me that she is not good for the royal family. And if nothing is done urgently to clip her wings, Your Majesty, she is going to dribble the members of the royal family for them to see her as the best. And ultimately, she may be selected as wife to the coming king of this kingdom. I sit before you, Onyeze, and I can assure you that when it happens, it is going to be doom for the land. Hmm. I know I've had you. I will watch her very closely and then get back to you in due course. Thank you, Your Majesty, for that assurance. But I, I may need to say this, Onyeze. I am not just expecting you to watch her closely. I want you to watch her as a king. Thank you very much. Onyeze, oh, come here. Still, let me offer you something. Once again, you're welcome to this uh, interactive section with me. Thank, Thank you, you, Your Majesty. I'll start with a question. How best do you think husband and wife could resolve a problem? Your Majesty? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's okay. <clears throat> In African homes, our men are considered to be demigods. So I think it's improper for a woman to have a problem with the husband. Hmm. Are you then saying that women should swallow whatever it is that their men throw at them? As a little point, that is the way it should be. 
And I think that's what the Bible was looking at when it says, wives be submissive to your husbands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I completely disagree with her, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. You see, women are not slaves. Although some African tradition, just like she said, has turned some women into some sort of slaves. But the world has gone beyond that demeaning level. And such obnoxious thoughts, belief and practices should be abolished, Your Majesty. I think you have to throw more light on it. Nazali, a woman who is aspiring to be wife to a king is advocating for the abolishment of our tradition. Mm -hmm. And she's not even hiding it. <laughs> mm. Well, I am not a pretender like some people. I say my things the way it is, Your Majesty, and that <clears throat> is it, period. Your Majesty, let me take you to the Holy Bible. You see, a husband and wife become one. Immediately they are interwoven in marriage. There should be mutual respect, mutual understanding on both sides. But we seem to lack that in African homes. That is why you see men cheat on their wives and nothing is done about it. But when a woman cheats, hell will be let loose. And that is unfair on the side of women, Your Majesty. What I understand from Oma here is that um, she will start to cheat on her husband once he cheats. <laughs> Your understanding is classless, my darling, for that is not what I'm saying. Equal punishment should be given on the both sides, irrespective of the sex. That's it. <clears throat> well, that's equal whatever you call it. We are not happen here in African settings. <laughs> Especially here in Nigeria, where the Attorney General of the Federation is married to many women. It has been said that um, if a woman catches her husband cheating, she will be punished. And if she's caught cheating, the punishment becomes even worse. That's Atrat Babadash. Yes. I mean, what are we even discussing? We're educated for this. Why are we discussing about it? All I am saying is that anyone that cheats should be punished. And that's it. Period, Your Majesty. <sighs> Why are you blocking my way? Whose way? Oh no, I'm learning of poverty. You don't have any way in this kingdom. In fact, you are blind and very soon to be deaf and dumb. Whatever you think you are scheming will never, ever work. Does it mean you want to fall out with me in this kingdom before you will call yourself into a closed door meeting? The day you fall out with me will be your last in this kingdom. Leave that girl alone. He has not done anything to you. That she has not done anything to me personally has not diminished the fact that she is indeed an evil daughter of this kingdom. Why are you defending her? I am not defending her. In fact, I am not defending anybody. She has not done anything bad. So the word defender should not come into play. Listen, I'm, I'm going to ask you again. Why are you blocking my way? I am the Omega Ago of this great kingdom. And I do whatsoever I like, anytime I like. Mm -hmm. See, that girl must be given equal opportunity with every other girl in the palace to jostle for the soul of the prince. You were never in support of this process from the start. Why finally are you the one scheming for who will win? Well, as all of you have finally approved that the contest must hold, and the contest is even holding as we speak, who am I to oppose everybody? I have to follow along, but let me tell you something. You see, Omeka Ago, if that contest is going to produce the wife to the coming king of Obodoko Kingdom, then the woman who must emerge will be somebody who is decent. Somebody who is wired into decency and is molded in the caliber of queens. I will never allow a fool who has been used by a conglomeration of idiots. Idiots, you said. Respect your officers, you know, and do not allow little girls to insult you. 
And uh, you are the person who will organize the little gears to start insulting me? You see, you cargo. You see that same road where the kidnapped victim finally got kidnapped was the same road he has been using all along. Have you pondered on that? See, so you are now a kidnapper. Try me, and you get so lost that no one will find you. Not even if they assemble all the DBS in the whole of Olu and Ibo, you will still be missing. Let me tell you something, you see, you make a go, I am the only one. Oh no, I am the only one of Obodu, who is the one of Ugili. And you see, there is no way evil can ever triumph over a man like me. You can get there now, Opo. Ugili, you can get there that is why you are more in the front than in the back. In our two giri. A lot of work. I have one more question before we retire to our rooms. You see, these days we hear so much about divorce. Some marriages last for six months, some five months, some three months, some two months, some even one week. The next thing we will hear is that the marriage has collapsed. So my question is that what do you think we need to do to keep our marriages together? Love. Love is the ingredient needed to keep any marriage. If couples are genuinely in love, nothing on earth will collapse the marriage. Even the Holy Bible says, Love conquers all things. Love. There's this story of this young girl. You see, a young girl once told me that she will marry a man she loves. Eventually, she married the man that she was so much in love with. But six weeks later, she left the marriage. So what would you call that? Um, Your Majesty, honestly, that's a strange. I gave you this story for you to know that um, love may not be enough yeah. for marriage. Well, uh, Your Majesty, I feel respect is the main ingredient needed in any marriage. If the couple respect each other, there will be no misunderstanding. African tradition wouldn't allow that in the real sense of the world. Just like you rightfully said, that in this part of the world, men are seen as demigods. Our men find it so difficult to respect women the way you just presented it. But they respect the side chicks, the one who contribute nothing to the home front. Is that fair? I, I should be asking the question. Is that fair? Well, I, I, I will say this in all honesty. You see, the truth is that men do not respect these side chicks because they do not intend to keep them forever. Once they go there and get that pleasure that they want, they go. A man does not respect what he does not intend to keep. That's just the truth. Interesting. Wow. I just learned something very educative. You don't respect what you don't intend to keep. Mm. Well, Your Majesty, I would say that understanding is what every home needs to keep their marriage going. Mm -hmm. If a man understands a woman mm -hmm. and the woman reciprocates that, there would be no room for unnecessary misunderstanding. That's right. Understanding is the ability to let go of each other's shortcomings. You're right. So everyone should try to have understanding as a tool in a relationship. In all you're getting, get understanding as a tool for a beautiful relationship. Yeah. We are done for this section. Thank, Thank you, Your Majesty. Majesty. Thank you. Welcome. 
So the ability to let go of each other's excesses is a real tool to keep our marriages together. Understanding? Hmm. 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 So, where is the princess? I mean, I've not seen her for some time. Did she travel? I thought she went to see her mom. Why is that girl so stupid? What? I mean, forgive my choice of word, but that is the right word for her action. Why? I mean, why would you qualify the princess with a word as stupid? That is gross if you ask me. Well, I'm not asking you. I learned the man she went to see does not even care if she exists or not. Yet she keeps throwing herself at the useless man. Calling the princess of this kingdom stupid is not enough. Now you're calling her man a useless man. Because what is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. I am just stating the obvious. <laughs> Who even told you about her man? Well, you know me, I always have my way of getting information, no matter how you try to conceal it. Because you're my sister, and I want you to be the chosen one. But to pass this hurdle and qualify as the overall best, you must learn to put your mouth where it should be. Whatever. Don't even know why I came here to discuss with you. Just so, what is even wrong with this, your cousin? I mean, she's always gossiping. Thank God you're here when I told her to be careful. That one? Does she look like someone that will ever listen to anything you say? <sighs> Trust me, the only thing that will take her out of this palace is gossip. I pray it doesn't get to that. I pray so too, but that is exactly where she's heading to. I'm not got <laughs> Not in Didi. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> I know you wouldn't believe me, but I already have her where I want her. Abia. <laughs> Give me one proof again. Ikeji, I don't have any proof for you, but just believe it that I have her. <laughs> Did you? Not possible. Okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. I want you to come by my house this weekend and you will see for yourself. What will happen here this weekend? She will be here. Life and the right. And I promise you, I'm going to eat her like carrots. Naya, eh? One thing with you is that you boast too much. You alone, on. You boast too much. You hype yourself too much. And I don't like it. Ndidi, the one I know. Hm. Nah. Oh, okay. Just come by weekend and you will see for yourself. Weekend. Weekend. Hm. I can know. Uh, for weekend. Two days time. So bad. Luck. It's okay. No time for a long story. How is Geraldine? How are you going about her? When uh, Geraldine Matata, I mean, serious. That girl is giving me stress. But I'll not give up. Hmm? I will not give up. I'll continue pressing forward. Hmm? When I get her, for the stress that she has put me through, I'll chop her once. He must behave. Contents. <laughs> They have blood their heart contents. They are ready for the show. Ready for the contest. Guess in the palace. Who let the dust out? Oh, who? who let the dust out? Oh, who?
Here we are. It must be costing the palace a lot to maintain this cleanliness. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. And that's why I love your father, the king. His cleanliness. When you see him, you can tell him that. Let's yeah. go. So. Oh. I don't think I will want to go inside there. Why? I'm nervous. You know the queen doesn't like me. Oh, babe. I thought we were over this. Why bring it up again? You know I don't like embarrassment. Babe, nobody is going to embarrass you. You are here because of me. Just that. Okay, you can go inside there. Tell the queen that I'm here. If she accepts me, then I can come inside. Mm, babe, this is not fair. Understand me. Okay, fine. You know what? Just sit in the garden. I'll get the maids to attend to you. I'll be right back. And where are you coming from? Mom, but I thought I told you before I left the palace. You thought, but you never told me. Mom, I did. No, you didn't. Okay, fine. But is that enough reason for you to squeeze your fist like that? Did you ask that question? It's my Good afternoon, Your Majesty. My princess. Good afternoon. What is it? Lunch is ready. Okay, um, my husband is uh, in his studies. So you let him know that lunch is ready. As he pleases you, Your Majesty. Excuse me. Do you honestly think I am happy with what you've been doing? What have I done? Honestly, Mom, I don't know why you're sounding this way. How am I sounding? I know that you went out there to see your man. But my question is, which of the men did you go out to see? Mom! Mm -hmm. You sound as if there are so many. <laughs> but you and I know that there are so many. I am your mother and I will tell you the truth. You are right, Mom. But as a woman, I can't possibly put all my eggs in one basket. That's why I have them around me anyways. That is where you're getting it wrong. If any of these men finds out that you have other ones around you, believe me when I tell you that they will all run. Not even one will stand. So be it. That means they are not meant for me. My dear. When a man decides to marry a woman, he becomes obsessive and extremely jealous. Well, Mom, the man that I'm seeing is not the jealous type, and that's why I love him anyway. <laughs> really? Okay. What's the name of this man? Johnson. John what? Don't tell me that you're still seeing that good for nothing, Johnson. Mom, why do you refer to him as good for nothing? Mom, he loves me and I love him too. As far as I'm concerned, you will have nothing 
to do with that man. And why is that, Mom? Because he has nothing to prove. You are precious to me. I don't want any man to come into your life and mess up with your heart. Don't you understand that? Mom, John C. may not have anything at the moment. But I see the future in him. His future is bright. I don't care about his possession or his bank account. I don't care. Okay. So what is that list this about? We'll talk about this later. I can see you're enjoying yourself. Well, not really. Why? The enjoyment wouldn't be complete if a beautiful damsel like you is not sitting by my side. I guess you have eyes for good things. Even if I don't, sighting a beautiful created damsel like you will trigger every normal man. <laughs> I like that. Hmm. I guess you speak the same language. Sure. Yeah, and um, the last time you came here, I didn't have the chance to talk to you. Now you have the chance. Not really, because I knew very soon the princess would be out and it would be all about her. No. So, what do you suggest? Uh, maybe I can have your number, we can hook up later. Sure. Sure. I mean, have your number. See you around. You don't look happy. What is it? Just as you feared. Your mother still does not approve our relationship, right? I am so devastated right now. What did she say? That's the point. She said nothing. On your own, do you know why she's saying no? No, I don't. I have to leave here. Babe, you can't go like this. Please stay a little more. We can talk here, you know. Are you going to drop me or should I find my way? Honey, please calm down. You know I don't like to see you angry. That is why I have to leave here before I get angry. Please. Are you going to drop me or not? Okay, I'll drop you. What did the king say when he called him? He said he's coming, Your Majesty. Mm. My king. I hope I did not keep you waiting. You actually did. But not for so long, Your Highness. I am sorry. Sorry about that. You're welcome. <clears throat> What? 
What is it? What happened? Um, um, what is it, my queen? Your Highness, I test the food. What exactly is the problem? Your Highness, could you please test the food? Salt in the food. Why? I, I, I said salt. Why? I, I don't understand, my king. Taste the food. I said, taste the food. The princess is back. I hope another war doesn't break out. My dear, no need praying against it. War is inevitable. One thing that baffles me about Oma is that she has forgotten that she's here for a contest. And tolerance is part of the test she must pass through. You are right. But that does not mean she should swallow everything the princess throws at her. If she must stand a chance, then she has to. Hmm. Oma is a no-nonsense lady. And that is one of the characteristics needed in a queen. She's not a pretender, and I love her for that. I understand exactly what you're talking about. But sometimes you have to lay low to get what you want. And that will end up making her a pretender, which she is not. Oh. Then she will have to be evicted, because the queen will not tolerate any form of insubordination from her again. Yes. I follow Medis. Looking at Oma closely, you see that she has many options outside this palace. Even at that, she has to calm down. I don't think any of the men outside the walls of this palace will give her what the prince has to offer. Don't be in a haste to conclude, true go. Don't be in a haste. I have said my peace over. Your Majesty, so someone is after me. You can tell that already. Someone is after me. Someone did that just to destroy my chance of being chosen. Your Majesty, please, don't allow them to succeed, please. I want all of you in here now. <laughs> Your Majesty, I, I tested the meal. It was a delicious meal before I went out to clean the dining table. I tested the meal. Your know. Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Who amongst you went into the royal kitchen and spoiled the food that Oloma prepared? I asked a question and I need an answer. Not Who me. went and poured a set salt into her meal? It's not me, Your Majesty. Not me either, my queen. I didn't expect any of you to take responsibility. But I want to tell you that I will make sure I unearth whoever that perpetrated this evil act. Not only would I evict the person from this palace, I will make sure that the person spends quality time behind bars for spoiling my meal. I will advise you all to just speak. Whoever that did it should just speak. My queen here may have mercy on the person. Very well then. If you think that spoiling her food will make me evict her from this palace, you failed. Because it actually gained her more points. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, come on, shut up! Thank you. Thank you. Next time you cook, whatever, whatever it is that you cook, okay. if it were to be poison, the royal heads would have been dead by now. Hey. Well. 
Now all of you get out of my sight. Okay, thank you. I said get out! Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Are you still standing? Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you. You did it. Yes. Although I don't want you to take full responsibility. Oh, man, I am not that wicked to do that. Oh, please. Are you not ashamed of yourself? I mean, you parade yourself in the palace for everybody to like you. You are evil, a disaster waiting to happen. You will watch your mouth. <laughs> truth they say is bitter. The truth is that you don't even know me, Omar. On the contrary. I know you more than you know yourself and what you're capable of. Accusing me wrongly will not buy you any point. Why not focus on issue-based discussion and stop making baseless accusations? Asa, I got my eyes on you. Your cup will soon fall. Trust me. Oh my. You make me laugh each time you sound like this. Do you really think I'm evil? Yes. You are evil. You are, you are more than evil. And you will be exposed very soon. Trust me. I am going to let this whole thing slide. Just for one reason. And which is... That you are my sister. Oh, please. That is how I see you, Omar. Not an enemy. <laughs> and please, stop accusing me. Stop it. It's not fair. And it's not going to help you. Oh, really? I beg you, Oma, please, stop the accusation. Please. Mister, I will catch you. And you'll be exposed. So you are a bad I can take insult from anybody, but certainly not you. But your bad ways of cooking just got discovered. I mean, you would have told me to teach you how to cook, and I will freely teach you. You teach me how to cook? God forbid. <laughs> you see, that's the problem I have with I too know like you. And at the end, you commit blunder, just like you did moments ago. Why am I even having this discussion with you? I pay me to teach you how to cook, and I will teach you. Any day, any time. I am a better cook than you. <laughs> a better cook, yet you cook to one bag of salt. <laughs> Ngozi, you better respect. If that leprous hand of yours had touched me, that would have been your end in this palace.
Brosna, well done. Bro. Hey, could you give that to me? I have to know why you're my me. Nigga, what's up? I'm cool, I'm cool. I'll be right back. Let me see you up, okay? Oh, I like it. Okay, man. Hi. So you are here enjoying the royal wine, while my bedroom is very dirty. Excuse you. You heard me well. So leave whatever you are doing. Rush to my room, wash the bedroom and tidy the entire room. Are you talking to me? How many people are here? Of course I am talking to you. <laughs> my darling, it appears that you don't know why I'm here. Now let me refresh your memory on that. Of course I know why you are here. And tidying my room is certainly one of them. So rush to my room now and get busy. I can take anything from you, but certainly not insult of this magnitude. Girl, you must do it. In fact, you're already doing it. <laughs> then move me. Yes, move me, probably use my hands and wash the bathroom for you. <laughs> Listen, Oma, I am not here to banter words with you. If you know what is good for you, move or I will move you. I am not stepping on each. And if you think you're strong, then move me. Quietly respect yourself and move. I swear on my grandfather's grave, if you do not move, you will not like the outcome. Then move me. Move me, I said! What do you mean? Kelly, don't you ever pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't! Of course, I don't know what you're talking about. So you told him about me? Who? Ikechi. How can I do such a thing? So why is he here? Oh, he's my friend. He came around. He just want to come. He just, he just want to check up on me. Ikechi, you are lying to me. And oh. I hate it when men lie to me. Honey, I'm not lying to you. Believe me when I told you, he only came to check up on me. Kenny, you're still lying to me. And I hate you for that. Kenny. <laughs> You can get angry from now until tomorrow. I have gotten what I wanted. Nigga! Oh my, you are trying my patience. I said move! <laughs> this is the fourth time you are saying this. Why don't you move me and stop wasting your saliva? Since this is how you want it. Now so be it! You. Oma, what did she ask you to do? Imagine this thing. Because you call yourself a mere princess. Asking me, Oma, to go to her room. To clean her room and her restroom. <laughs> who do you think you are? And who the hell do you think you are? When Oma already? Oma, please. Stop already. We all wash and clean our bathrooms every day. Princess, look, I will head straight to your room and do that. Please, there is no need for this drama. 
Oma, I will do it for the princess. For the princess. Thank you, star. She just saved your ass. If not, I would have beaten you blue black. You cannot do anything. Short. You cannot do anything. Let's go outside. I'm not going to be a drunk. Oma, again. stop it at once. Leave me. Stop it at once already. Don't. Why did this girl want to do this? <laughs> you have confirmed it now. Not only confirmed it, bro. When you finish work, <laughs> hi. Ekene, Ekene. The one was a machine completely. You don't need to tell me. See, when you were inside, <laughs> firing, firing. When I was here, you could have no fun. <laughs> you are a fool, a very big fool. <laughs> Bro, how did you get her? Seriously, how? It's simple. I have the code, but it will cost you something before I will reveal it to you. It will cost me? Yes. How much? Let's say some bottle of beer and bush meat. Abucha. Of course, you're my friend. Reach a video. There's no challenge on that, bro. So hand over the scope to me. Uh, no, 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 not too fast. Not until you give me my drink. I'm a meat. I can. Uh, do you want it now or later? Of course, yes. I want it now. I'm not doing anything. So, let's go. Let's go. Let me change to something else. Change, change, change. <laughs> I need this scope. Hey, Gigi. Your Highness, you sent for me? Yes, please sit down. I hope all is well. There's no problem. But it's about Esther, one of the maidens under your tutelage. I hope she hasn't done anything bad. Uh, for now, no. But the information I had about her is scary. I was told that um, she is here with an ulterior motive. My lord, somebody must have told you that. Of course, yes. Somebody told me. Who, if I may ask? <laughs> I don't normally disclose my source of information. But because we are working in a close synergy, I have to tell you. It is don't know. Ah. Your Highness, forget about to know. You know that he kicked against this whole idea. Now he has picked on a maiden to criticize. Cordelia, I don't think we should trivialize this information. It is not, not all about criticism. We have to take it very seriously. Your Highness, you know who has nothing to say. Do we have guests in the palace? Nothing to talk about. Who let the dust out? Oh. Who let the dust out? Oh. Oh. Mama says, sharp girls and sellers, they are all in the contest. Oh my God, this is war. Yeah. This is war. Now who? Now who? Now who? Now who? Now who? Go win Who go win this race? Who go be the lucky one? Who go be the luckiest one? Who go win this race? Who go be the lucky one? Yeah. Contents. Contents. Ah. You know how to cook. Contents. You have a very good contents. You have a good manner. Contents. Oh, contents.
contents, contents. It go hot, it go hot, oh. contents. It go red, it go red, oh. contents. Guess on the contents. <sighs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Esther. How are you today? I'm doing well, sir. Thank you. I hope I didn't keep you for too long. No, I don't have any problem. I understand you may have one or two things doing in the palace that may have kept you. So I'm not complaining. Oh, thank God. I am going to be very fast with you so that you can return to the palace before they start looking for you. All right, sir. What is the plan? How, sir? Stop pretending as if you don't know what I am saying. Because you know exactly what I am saying, Esther. I say, what is the plan? But, oh no, I have no idea what you're talking about. I know the mission of the other girls in that palace. The only mission I don't know is yours. And I called you here to ask you, Esther, what is your mission? The same mission with the other girls. And you know that, Onowu. Why are you asking me? All those other girls in the palace are jostling for the soul of the prince. Same thing I am just for. Except you. Why is the face like this? It's not that stupid girl called Oma. Withdraw that statement if you want us to have this discussion. But mom, she's stupid. I can see that you don't want to have this discussion. Now leave. I said leave. Okay, she's, she's not stupid. What did she do? Mom, can you imagine I asked that girl to wash my bedroom and she refused? You did what? Mom, you heard me. Is she not supposed to wash my bedroom? If she does that, what are the job of your maidens? Mom, but that should be part of our training. What if she's eventually chosen? Won't she get to wash my brother's toilet and bedroom? I think it's time I break this down for you to understand it very well. You see those amazing maidens, they are not here to serve you. They are here to be tutored by me for marriage, for your brother's selection, and not to serve you in this palace. If you need someone to send on an errand, use the maidens. Or you can even take the guards. Do you understand me? Mumbo, she's supposed there to... There is no but! Don't send them on an errand! Is that clear? Yes, mother. Better. You can leave. I'm not in this mood now. Dance out. All I know is that anything I ask her to do, she must do it. Oh no, at this point, I can only say that you are mistaking me for someone else. There are no mistakes. I know you know what I am talking about. But I called you here to give you specific information that whatsoever it is you are planning, we never see the light of day. Oh no, honestly, I am lost. You know, one thing I have noticed about you is that you are an expert when it comes to pretense. But I'm asking you, don't you think a time will always come when pretenders will stop? Why are you doing this? Why are you so committed into evil? Listen, I am a Mulonye Nego. Do you know who of this kingdom? I am a man that is wired into so many things. And you may never know how far I have gone. But let me tell you, you see abomination, which you represent in all ramifications, will never happen around a man like me. Abomination? Oh no. What abomination do you speak of? Stop asking me useless questions as if you don't know what I am saying. Hey! You know exactly what I am saying. Oh no. If you continue to sound this way, I will have no other option than to return to the palace 
but that is exactly what I expect you to be doing already. Because I am already done with you. You mean you brought me out here to accuse me wrongly? It is not a wrong accusation. <laughs> you know exactly what I am saying. I insist. I have no idea what you're talking about. Maybe you can tell me. Can you pick the sand of Obodoku and swear before me that you actually don't know what I am talking about? Can you do that? Mmm. Enjoying it? Yeah, mm, a good one. It's a good mm -hmm. one. Yeah, so. Mm. Bro. I've kept, I've kept my promise, okay? So, give me this code, bro. It's easy, it's easy, it's easy, bro. You see? It's <coughs> easy, 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 bro. I brought you here for a reason, didn't I? Come on, bro. Give me this code. I can see you don't want me to enjoy this meat and drink in peace. Professor, Professor, I, brought, I did not bring you here to enjoy. You're talking as if we didn't have an agreement before. I brought you here to tell me something that will make me be like you. Come on, bro. I've not denied you the code, Ido. Just allow me enjoy this meat and this drink. Okay, you want me to leave all right? No, 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 wait, no, 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 Calm down. You're not behaving like someone from Cyprus. Why that guy get up? Sit down, my brother. I never did like that. Uh, calm down. Calm down. Sit down. The blood to the heart. It's okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. You better. Fess up. Fess up. Who is she? Brother, brother, leave that one. Butaba, butaba. She's a no-go area. Don't even think about it, bro. No, there is nothing impossible for a Kine as far as women are concerned. <laughs> bro, it's like you overestimate your power. Let me shock you. This lady now that just walked by is engaged. Seriously engaged. You said engaged, but not married. In as much as she's not married, I'm going to have a test of her. I'll be right back. Take care of my meat too. Are you kidding? I'll be right back. Take care of my meat. Give me coach. You said you wanted to enjoy meat. <laughs> Give me coach. You said you wanted to enjoy meat. And you've left the meat. So Professor. Why is the princess always permitted to? I've always sided the princess, but this time she went off the hook. Can someone bring me up to speed, please? Because I don't exactly know what happened. But you were there with us, baby. You're right. But I'm still, I'm still lost. She's so. Eh? The princess asked Oma to go to her room, clean up her toilet and bathroom. What? How would you give such order? Same question everyone has been asking. Hey, she went too far. And I'm happy the way Oma reacted. I see Oma as a future queen of this kingdom. I agree with you totally. The way she carries herself, the level of her education, and everything. In fact, eh, I see the pendulum swinging towards her. Don't count Esther out. She has everything a man wants in a woman. You're right. She's cool-headed and intelligent. I've always known it's going to be a battle between Omar and Esther. We'll just call this show Big Sister Niger. <laughs> You are really, really beautiful. 
Has anyone ever told you how beautiful you? Thank you. But I hear that very often from men. Including my female friends too. So I know I'm very pretty. <laughs> They're just telling you the truth. Say, I like you. I like you a lot. See, I actually came to this village to look for a wife. I'm tired. I just want to settle down. I just want to have a beautiful angel to be my wife. As soon as I set my eyes on you, I was convinced in my spirit that I have seen that woman that will become my wife, the one that will be the mother of my children. I'm sorry, but you're talking to the wrong girl. I'm engaged, sir. I'm engaged. I'm somebody's wife to be. Wow. I'm sorry. I, I didn't notice the ring earlier. Uh, that guy must be a very lucky one to have an angel like you as a wife. I know, right? But um, how long have you been engaged? I've been engaged for eight months. Eight months now. What? Excuse me. You mean you have been wearing this useless ring for eight months? Come on, sweetheart. That guy is just deceiving you. See, an engagement ring is not supposed to last more than three months on a lady's finger. I don't understand. What are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is, if a man is not ready to get married, he's not supposed to engage the woman. The longest time a ring is supposed to be on a woman's finger is three months. Hi, ah, yes. Well, I understand your concern. But the thing is, things have been a bit rough for my guy, so... That is why he hasn't come to do the needful. But we're praying and being hopeful that things will turn around. I will come see my people real soon. So we are fine. Thank oh. you for your concern. Oh, la 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 la. It's just the stories he will be using to keep ravishing and devouring this beautiful body of yours. Are you going to sit down there to wait for him until he bounces back or things becomes good? Yes. What do you want me to do? Come on, I like that question. What do you want me to do? What I want you to do is simple. Come to me. And in the shortest period of two months, I will get married to you and I will travel with you to abroad. Yes. What? Sweetheart, I don't talk too much. Just think about what I just told you. I have your number. I will give you a call. Why should I be happy when you've chosen to ridicule yourself and not me? Ridicule myself? Omar, what did I do? Must you reduce yourself so cheap because you want the prince to marry you? Omar, you are quoting the whole thing out of context. I am not, my darling. The prince, we are all jostling for his love. Do you even know what he wants? Do you? Hmm. 
I may not have been with the prince to know exactly what he wants in a woman. But I'm certain that I am that special woman, mm. made for the high and mighty. And whatever the need in a woman can be found in me. You are just overrating yourself, my darling. Let me shock you. If I win this contest and discovers that the prince is not exactly what I want, I will quietly leave the palace and they will never see me again. So it's now shifted from what the prince wants to what you want. <laughs> no, my darling. Oh my, why are you so impossible? See, I am not one of those classless women who never find their voices. What the man wants in a woman is as important as what a woman wants in a man. I bet you will never understand. Girl, there is nothing to understand because you are not even making any sense. <laughs> Back to what we are discussing, my darling. Learn to live a dignified life. Don't reduce yourself to nothing just because you want to please the queen. Trust me, none of them can do this for you. Oh, man. The words they say have years. You never can tell who is listening. Mm. I advise you end this conversation before you be the one to disqualify yourself. I won't disqualify myself, but you know one thing about you? You fear a lot. But I am glad I've told you my truth and nothing more. Mm -hmm. Mama does not even have an idea why she's here. You sent for me, my princess. I ceased to be your princess. The moment he decided to gossip with my name. Me? Gossip with your name? Never. I will never do that. Of course I heard everything. And I confirmed them from reliable sources. <sighs> my princess, I didn't say anything bad about you. Okay, I see. Maybe I should remind you. Of course, I'll be glad if you do so. When I went to see my man Johnson, where did you tell them that I went to? My princess, I don't even know where you went to. <laughs> Not to talk of discussing it. Oh my gosh, I hate liars! How dare you stand here and lie to my face? Like I said, my princess, I don't know what you're talking about. I had no idea where you went to, so I have no reason to discuss you. That's not my thing. I don't do that. Wait. When I went to see my man, Johnson, you actually told them that I've gone to see that guy that doesn't care about me. And I was practically forcing myself on him. Oh my goodness. Someone is really out there to make you hate me. When on earth did I say that? You will soon find out. Now get out of my sight! Come on, my princess. Someone just told you something bad about me. Trying to reduce my chance of getting married to the prince. And you want to believe them? That's not fair. I said out of my sight. Without pleasure. Why didn't you tell me that you were not interested in marrying my son, the prince? How do you mean, Queen? The signs are there that you are not here with your whole heart. My Queen, whoever that told you that, I lied to you. Nobody told me anything. I overheard your conversation with Esther in the diamond. My Queen, but I didn't say anything about in the discussion with Esther. I. 
I was only presenting my beliefs and conviction. What I said out there, I can equally say it in your presence. Yes. Really? Yes, my queen. I'm really disappointed in you. <sighs> well, I, I am sorry if what I said out there angered you. I'm so sorry. Can I tell you something, Norma? Yes, Can I tell you the truth? Yes, my queen. You are so mannerless. And the worst part is that you are so full of yourself. I deserve some respect, my queen. And choose the words you said to me carefully. You deserve some respect. Yes, my queen. Are you stupid? Do you think you are in your father's house? You slapped me. And I will slap you over and over again if you don't get lost from my sight. <laughs> you know what? You are not God. And you can never be. Get out. You're just a mere queen. I am out. Oh, get out! What was I thinking when I chose her? <laughs> so, did she agree? Why would she not agree? <laughs> Bro, your confidence in all this, it really baffles me. <laughs> That's because I'm man enough. I'm equal to the task. See, man, <laughs> I learned a lot. While I was still at Cyprus. Mm -hmm. See, let me tell you a little bit. Cyprus mm -hmm. is an island nation. Cyprus is a nation centered in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. Technically, Cyprus is located in Asia. But culturally and politically, it's assumed to be part of Europe. Now, this island nation... They are full of sweet things. Beautiful ladies. I cannot go to Cyprus without having all this experience and having conquered women over there. I cannot come to my country and be a fool. Come on. Mm, I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I get you. So, so what I'm trying to say, Nernis, is it's simple. Just tell a woman what she wants to hear. Tell them lies that is pleasant to the ear and they will be all yours. Lies. Yeah. Bro, be serious with me now. I told you I need this code. Be serious. I don't understand what you're telling me. Lies. Be serious. I have never been this serious all my life. See, you don't tell a woman the truth, especially the ones you want to keep for a longer period. You're, you're confusing me. I'm, you're really getting me confused here. See, calm down. There is nothing to be confused about. EKG. There is nothing to be... No, no, let, let, let me ask you. Have you not discovered that whenever you tell a woman the truth, they don't seem to believe you? But when you tell them lies, I mean, fat lies, the ones they are ready to hear, boom, they will believe you immediately. Bro... That's true. You have a point there. Good. So you see what you need to do? Start practicing. Go back to Oge and tell her you have made money and you will see the reaction on her face. Okay, okay. But are you sure she'll agree to my demands if I tell her lies? <laughs> Stop telling her that you were broke. Wear this look of a man that has made money and you'll come back and thank me later. Professor Uma Sawan of Boduku. Bro, I'll apply these things you've told me. Okay. I'll apply it, bro. Yeah. And um, one more thing. The same pattern yeah. you use on a younger lady is the same measure you will use 
on those society ones. See, all you need to do, summon this courage. courage. They want to see that bravery in you. Bravery. Tell them those fat lies that is pleasant to the ear, and you will see them smiling sheepishly. Mm. <laughs> hey. I get you. So, courage, bravery, and lies. Thank you. Man. <laughs> I trust you, bro. I got it, bro. I got it, bro. Remember, mm. my name is Ekene. Mwanyo Bonafu Ekene. Nemecha Kene. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Not to worry. I will speak to the princess on your behalf. Really? You will do that for me? If she says she will do it, then she will do it. Thank you so much. You have proven to be a different breed from all of us. Thank you. Where is she going? Um, maybe I'm she's leaving. Leave it. Just give me a minute, I'll be back. Oma! Is the royal family aware that you're leaving? Do I care? I don't care! This humiliation has to stop! This minute, open the gates! Oma! What is going on? Where are you going? I am leaving. I don't want to stay again. Oma, please. Can you calm down and talk to me? I can't. I don't want to talk to anybody, and that includes you. Nonsense. You want to have the prince? You can go ahead and have the prince. This is not the best way to solve this, Oma. Please, just calm down. Oh my please just come back Did you choose this discussion here? Um, I don't want you to start to hear what I'm going to tell you. Any problem? Um, it's not really a problem, no. but... But what? It's about Samuel. What about him? You know it's been eight months he engaged me. And there are no signs of him marrying me anytime soon. So what are you saying in earnest? I want to leave the relationship. Why? See, I met a guy. He said he likes me. Mm -hmm. And he's willing to marry me in the space of two months. Wow. I'm glad your eyes have finally opened. Eh? I told you this thing two months ago, but you think I was joking. Ha, my hey. eyes have opened all. I told you that guy tied you with this nonsense ring. And you are still wearing it, sir. Anyway, you know, I'm very glad I opened up to this new guy. What did you tell him? I, I told him the truth. And I told him everything about the engagement. So, oh. he said he's willing to marry me. That is nice. If you like the guy, and you think he's serious in marrying you, yes. baby, go ahead. <laughs> hmm? My friend, he said he would take me to Obudu Ibo. Wow! Are you Yes. Hey, I'm, I'm so, so happy beautiful. for you. <laughs> wow, congrats, so my friend. Oh, you know you're such a nice friend. Oh, oh, you're my you friend now. You stand by me. And weak husband, but I can make their body shy. What a smooth shooter! I can then lose the body way in the breast. Be pitching because you got a follower. What a smooth shooter! If you enter in the body, the caligo. 
Why is he calling me? Why is she calling me? Hmm? Why is this girl still disturbing my life? I bag it, pull loose your car on your own. If they if they are done dribbling you, you leave to go so they dribble another person. There are a lot of bitches around, man. They cannot pick in my call. Let it not be what I'm thinking, you know. Let it not be what I'm thinking, you know. Hmm. <laughs> How am I sure he's not with another girl? Babe, just calm down, baby. Calm down now. Who is your baby? Eh? What's okay? Why are you being very harsh to me? Why? Don't you get it? Because I don't like you. Keki Sweatchok and Kawaragia. How is you want me to explain? It's okay, it's okay. Well, actually, I, I do not come here for you to explain anything to me. I came to. I came to give you. Anyway. Yeah, have this. Yeah. Go on, go on, have this. This is for you. Yeah, oh, that is 15,000 naira. Just use it and buy anything of your choice. I'll be going. Get you it. Uh, 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 no. Uh, you cannot just live like that. Eh? <laughs> well, I have something very important to attend to. You've been harsh to me all this while. So I just, uh, I have to go right now. So maybe later we'll see, all right? Wait, come on. Is that more important than me? No, it's not more important than you. It's just that I opened a new business lately. A new business? A new business, and it's been fetching me excess money. In fact, I just had to squeeze out time to come here. So it requires my attention. So maybe later we'll see, OK? Let me be going. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh. I'm really sorry for the one I talked to you earlier. Yeah, I, I, I don't like you, but I love you. Yeah. You love me. I love you too. I've always loved you, you know? Oh, I love the way that sound from your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, when do I get to see you again? Yeah, well, you can come to my house anytime. I'll see you. I'd love to see you there too. All right, so I have to go. We'll see you later. Okay? Ah, come on now. You should be romantic. At least the hug won't be bad. Of course, of course. Come here. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah.
Thank you. Dinner is served. But before we eat, I have um, one announcement to make. If you look around, you see that one of you is not here. She was disqualified earlier today because she crossed the boundary. The full reason for her disqualification will be related to you all later. But if you have a question, go ahead and ask. In the absence of uh, any question, let's, uh, let's continue with our meal. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you, Majesty. You were anxious over the phone. What is the problem? Ruth is the problem. What happened? Did anything bad happen to her? No. Huh. Thank God. So what is the problem? She has not been picking my calls since yesterday. <sighs> why? I don't know. And that is why I've come to you. Did she complain anything to you about me? No. Then why, why has she not been picking my calls? Maybe that question should go straightly to you. Did you do anything wrong to her? No. Uh, just that she asked me to give her some money last week, which I could not provide. Hmm. Then that is the problem. You know, we women of these days, we need money. Yeah, but we have already settled that. I promised to give her the money by this weekend. 
Okay, no problem. That means I'll see her. And I'll tell her she, you are worried that she's not picking your call. Yeah. Just take care of yourself. Relax. Don't worry yourself. I appreciate it. Alright, take care. Thank you. Alright, I'll talk to her, okay? Right. Bye Thanks. bye. I appreciate it. I know they use jazz at all. Don't listen waiting out to her again. And some coordinated lines. Our guests we don't follow. They don't follow. I can never know they use jazz at all. Only sweet amount we get. And some coordinated lights here. Yes, we don't follow. All the guests we want to test you. Test you. Test of the game. We want to test them all. The fragile in the one chill. A couple sweet in our name. Sweet in the middle. Sweet in the middle. All the guests we want to test you. They want to test them all. Test of the game. What's the game? The fragile in the one chill. Fragile in the one chill. Sweet in the middle. Our guests we need the money. Cash. Oh, oh. And weak husband. But they can need their body. Chai. What a smooth shooter. A can they knows the button where he go press. Pim pim pim. The guess you got their fall. Chai. What a smooth shooter. If he enter in the body. Na caligo. Any girl who has done the lega. For all of His name will make a name. Why you put no food at the end? Okay, can I wait? All the guests who want to test you, test you, test of the game. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. So tell me. You're too sweet. Uh huh. Am I sweeter than the princess? Yes, of course you are. <laughs> Don't say it's because I am here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, far from it, baby. <laughs> With these qualities that you have, mm -hmm. you're just wasting your talent at that palace. <laughs> I was supposed to go there by my parents. Why? Well, they want your daughter to be married to a prince. <laughs> Left for me, I wouldn't have done that. It's not my thing. <laughs> okay. To you. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're imagine victorious? Honestly? No. No. I just went there to catch crews with everything and everyone, including the food, the wine, the environment. <laughs> but that's the truth. I just want to catch one and enjoy my life. <laughs> You're a bad girl. Mm -hmm. Baby girl life. Baby girl for life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For this. I don't know why I love food this much. Listen, sweetheart, everyone loves food. Not like my own. I don't even know if I am cursed with food. I don't know. Aloma, what are you saying? Look, 
You are not cursed. Not at all. Come on, girl. You are okay. You are good. Just wipe your tears. Nothing is wrong with you. Esther, I know you're trying to console me. Please, just, just go away. I, I just feel like crying for my stupidity right now. Oh, my look. <laughs> look at me. Look at me, Oloma. Look at me. I am not leaving you alone. We're in this together. I know, I know from what happened last night. The Queen has already disqualified me. I know. How can you even say that? The Queen cannot do such. What did you do? That was just a little mistake. The Queen can't disqualify you. Look, you may even be the chosen one. Leave me alone. You're just giving me false hope. See, my case right now is hopeless. I'm hopeless. Luma, no, no. I disagree with you. God forbid. Don't say that about yourself. Look, the queen cannot disqualify you. Come on, that was a little mistake. She can't. Oluma, just, it's okay. It's okay. Just forget. You're not disqualified. The queen will not do that to you. It's the queen. It's the queen. Come on. I've been meaning to discuss something with you. I know what you want to talk about, so there is no need. How do you mean? My sexual escapade with one of the ladies. See, what you are doing is not good. You better stop it. That girl is a prospective queen. Alpha, come on. Good. That girl did not come here to contest for the soul of the prince. Really? Yes. Then why is she here? She came here to catch coups. And what I'm doing with her is part of the coups. What if she's selected at the end of the day? Never. That girl will not make it to the finals. <laughs> you will talk as if you know her too well. Yes. And that is why I'm doing what I'm doing with her. Hmm. See, whatever you are doing, you have to be very careful. Because if the queen finds out, you will, you will find yourself in a very serious trouble. So don't now, worry. The queen will not find out. I've said my own. Roots. Roots, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yeah. baby. Baby, na gaga. Oh, gini. Anyway, that's not why I'm here today. Hey. Yeah, I was with Samuel earlier today. Samuel, what are you doing with that local man? Wonder <laughs> So he's not a local man. Ah, my friend. Because but I no international discussions. I no don't know problem what about. Anyway, he was complaining that you are not picking his call. The young man is very worried. Now, Connie, he hasn't started being worried yet. Wait until my Oyibo invitation card with Ekene is out. Hey, hey, but we now from Basad himself. He's not afraid. That young man will be heartbroken. Ne kwafa, ne kwafa. Eh, hey, hey, my friend, mm -hmm. he's a single and he's single. Mm -hmm. hey, since you want to die in this village, you can marry uh, Samuel now. God forbid, I reject it. Uh -uh. Why are you rejecting your husband? Okay, you think I'm not good to travel to Bodoi, Babi? Hey. I beg, don't go there. Uh -huh. I'm only feeling for him. Anyway, yeah. so how do you intend to handle someone? Mm. There is no special way of handling a local man. Hey, what go? So the thing is, I think by next week I'll break up with you. Okwa man cho. Machi kume ti ma kanu bi wata go. Ibi sko. But you go na ma cho ro fi ana Facebook. Try this no fair. Anyway, you'll be heartbroken, but you don't know how happy I am. That you have decided to move on. Okay. Hmm. You know, at some point, that your engagement wanted to become a thing of mockery. Wanted. Ne. It was a thing of mockery for me, my dear. Who ka ka kwa ro bi? Hey. That, that man turned me into 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 Lord of the Rings. I swear. Now, violin, no ring. Now, now, one. 
Thank God I opened my eyes on time on the day. Thank God. I can never know they use jazz at all. At all. No listen with him out to her, he get and some coordinated lies. Our guests they don't follow. They don't follow. I can never know they use jazz at all. At all. At all. Only listen with him. Ekele, I have been calling you and you've not been picking. Why? The last time we met, you walked out on me. And then you expect me to pick your calls. I will not do that. Ekele, you're still angry about that? Of course, yes. I am. That was a letdown on my personality. For a woman to walk out on me. <laughs> It's okay. I promise you that it will never happen again. Please. Hopefully, let it not happen again. In as much as I love you, there are certain things I won't take from you. I cross my heart. It will never happen again. <laughs> When I forgive you, you tell me thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> when I touch you, you tell me thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Remember, my name is Ekene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ekene. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've really missed you. Yeah, I miss you too. Don't. Of course, Don't miss me. of course I did. Then why do you to pick my call when I called you? I did not even bother to return my call. Me, your baby. I was only playing a man. You know, no. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now to prove to you that I miss you, you know what? You know what? What? I'm gonna take you inside now and show you how much I miss you. <gasps> really? Oh, yeah. I guess you want to test it. Test it. Test it. Greetings, beautiful maidens of Oboduku. As you all know, the search for a wife for my son will end today. One of you is not here because um, she was not able to hide her true nature. And that is why she was disqualified. Like we told you earlier on that in case you are not chosen, this royal family will settle you so well for you to start a life outside the palace. Ngozi. Your Majesty. <laughs> I know why you're this excited. I know that something deep inside you is telling you that you are the chosen one. Oh, it spoke clearly to me, Your Majesty. I will give the prince the peace he needs to reign. <laughs> but you are not the chosen one, Ngozi. The reason is that we all know about your sexual escapades with Ikenna, the god. But what you didn't know is that we planted Ikenna there to try all of you into deceiving you to have a carnal knowledge of him. Every other person didn't go through with that, but you, Ngozi, you fell for it. And that is the reason why you are disqualified. And also her gossip nature, Mom. Yeah, you talk too much. And you gossip a lot too. Oh, Luama. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. 
<laughs> Truth be told, you are the best among them all. But you are not the chosen one for my son. Why, Your Majesty? What have I done wrong? Because you eat too much and your dirtiness. If you are chosen for my son, you will disgrace this royal family. Oloma, you are primitive. Your thinking is backward and your behavior. So you are not the right one for my son. Esther. Your Majesty. Esther here is the chosen one. Esther, you're qualified because you are beautiful, intelligent, smart, well-behaved, well-educated. And you are grounded in etiquette and courtesy. That is why you are chosen. Like we promised you all when we started that, in case you are not chosen, we will settle you well. We have your account details. You will be credited 4 million naira each for you to continue a life outside the palace. Once again, I thank you so much for participating in this program. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Nice choice, Mother. Oh. I know your mother will not make any mistake in this. <laughs> she has done a marvelous job. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, my you, queen. Hey! Finally, the decision is made. Esther is the next queen of Obodoku. <laughs> I know she's going to be the next queen of Obodoku. Immediately, <laughs> Oma was dismissed. But honestly, I thought Oma is going to be the one. Huh. Same here. Now you see why they said. The gods are wise. Let's just pray she makes a good wife to the prince. That's mm, all that she matters. She will. But with the way she carries herself, I don't have any doubt in me about her. Mm -hmm. I strongly believe she will make a good wife. Yes, she will. Wait, 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 wait. Let's all know that physical appearance could be deceased for you, no? Yes, you're right. But she's proven beyond every reasonable doubt that she's going to be a good wife. Tell her! her. <laughs> Finally, the big sister show is over. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Congratulations, my dear friend. I bless your union with the prince with every blessing you desire. Amen. <laughs> and thank you so much. You're welcome. Honestly, I know you are going to stand tall, and I'm glad you did. Thank you. Please do not forget us in your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Never. <laughs> We're friends for life. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope I can visit any time to eat whatever I feel like it. <laughs> you can put that in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And please, do not forget to tell us about your marriage. I personally would love to be there. Of course you should be there. <laughs> Aloma, mm -hmm. you are going to be my chief bridesmaid. Wow! <laughs> I feel on top of the world. What are friends for? <laughs> and definitely, you will be among my bridal train. Ah, I can wait. Wow, can wait thank you so day. much. What are friends for? <laughs> like, I feel on top of the world. <laughs> um, I hope there will be enough to eat and drink. Aloma, it is a royal marriage. <laughs> what do you expect? Of course, there will be plenty to eat and drink. Can I can't wait. Aloma, <laughs> you and food. And you're even indulging her. Mm -hmm. ah, you're going to eat a woman being Of course, I have to eat too. Mm -hmm. You never can tell us what happens. Suck or less you. Listen, mind your speech. Watch your back. Comfort yourself. You never can tell us what happens. Suck or less you. Listen, mind your speech. Watch your back. Comfort yourself. Play your games. Why is it? Baby. What is it? Baby, you are yet to tell me what I did wrongly that made you not to pick my calls anymore. I've been busy. Hey, that is not enough reason for you not to pick my calls. Samuel, if you don't have any other thing to say, I would like to go back to the house. I was busy before you called me. 
What did you just call me? Samuel! Or is that not your name? Is that not the name your mother and father gave to you? Mbwa Samuel? Yeah. No, or did you change name and you didn't tell me? Why don't you come back? Samuel and ask what is it? What did you call me? Baby, what is going on? What is happening? What happened to the pet name you used to call me? Hey, you know Pet name? Embo. See, I can see you have no reasonable thing to say. I'm a very busy person, you know. I'm going back to my house, though. I can see my presence now irritates you. Hey! Huh? Thank God, though, you said it yourself. Take. I am done. The ring holder has decided to resign. Eh, I'm a second. Why? You have mind, though. No, somewhere you have mind. This is the eighth month you decided to engage me with this rubbish ring. Without any single intention of coming to my father's house to pay my bride's price. Now you're telling me. You have mind though. Well, I am going back to my house. And whenever you are ready, whenever you have the capacity as a man to marry me, you come to my father's house. Until then, can I leave Wagini Humo? Hey, what I have Pia guy. Ruth, wait. No, this is not. I'm um, Ruth again. If you fire Ruth, no, no, again. Baby. Uh, I, I didn't say I'm not going to marry you now. Oh no, I'm not going to go. Oh yes, sir. It's your make up. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Oh boy, you're dead. Oh yes, sir. I can help. I can help. Good You're welcome. Thank you. My people, I want to use this opportunity to inform you that by this weekend, the Prince of Oboruku will arrive from his sojourn. And as you all know, a wife will be presented to him upon his arrival. And my wife, the Queen, has made sure that the best wife is chosen for the Prince. So, permit me to present to you the chosen maiden for our crown prince in the person of Esther Ongosa. Oh yes, I, I want to say something. Uh, oh no, you will say something, but that will be after the queen has spoken. Uh, thank you so much, my husband. Um, my elders, I greet you. Thank you, welcome. Esther is the best maiden for my son. While tutoring all the maidens, I found out that Esther was the best behaved and matured. That's why I chose her for my son. Thank you, my elders. <laughs> Open a Mogona, then one you put a female is she lor and me. Oh, yes, how can you see a boogie, gay boogie, and come on boogie, boogie, yogi, the annual boy? Contest or competition, a brave woman at all. And we all know young girls of these days, very, very secretive, very, very unpredictable. Yes, I shall read the teacher, I shall black a child white. And in spite of that, our queen here, a well-bred mother, was able to choose the best, not just for the crown prince, but for us as a people. Okay. On yes, she did a very wonderful job. All one believe you, and given the opportunity, I will kill two for her. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oru kung puna ja na kaniba what an onion? A chalugo wine. Massiolu. Apple mam. Ebe cajo. Namalom. Alana Zuma. Not to worry. This kingdom will remember you for giving them a befitting future queen. Thank you. And for your son, the queen. I am certainly will appreciate all that you have done oh. and will reward you abundantly. <laughs> <clears throat> um, oh no, you can say what you want to say. 
Oh yes, the spirit of the mass prayer that is guiding the initiated men of Obodoku does not function that way at all. Amulonye Nego, the son of Akedia Mokane, the grandson of Ugobuzwe, the Onohu of Obodoku was halted for a woman to speak first. That is unacceptable. And whatever I had wanted to say is already swallowed. Oh no, it better remain swallowed. It will not remain swallowed permanently. It is going to be registered again in my spirit and once it registers, I am going to speak with my mouth. Till then. That's alright, I know. Is there another person that has something to say? <laughs> um, congratulations, my daughter. Thank you, sir. Yeah. May the gods bless your marriage with the prince. It's a congratulations once again, my daughter. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my respected elders. Your Highness. Thank you. Oh no, Wamulonye Nego. You know I know you too well. I don't want it to be seen that I will have a problem with a man like you. If there is a problem, you can confide in me. I will follow your instructions. Tell me, do you have a problem with my choice of wife for my son? Because of the way you started this discussion, I am going to tell you the truth. I feel Esther is not the right choice for the prince. Why? Each time I look at that girl, I have this feeling of sinister. Oh no, conquer your fears and face reality. That girl is the best for my son. Well, that is um, how you feel, but I am looking for the right word to use in explaining this to you. Oh no, stop looking for words. The decision has already been made and the king has approved of this whole thing. Well, it is not my intention to counter the words of the king of Obodu. But honestly, I pray every day. I pray every day that we are not found at the crossroad at the end of the day. I know nothing of such will happen. Even if it does, I will nip it in the bud. You know me too well. You know what I'm capable of doing. Right? Well, what I see in my individual capacity as Amulonye Nego, the son of Akedi Amokani of Obodu, who are presently the Onohu of this town, <laughs> will be bigger than you when it opens up. The next thing you will bring into the discussion is the masquerade. Oh no, I want you to understand that I am the queen of Oboduku Kingdom. Nothing is. I will ever be bigger than me. On that note of actually standing before me to say indirectly that you consider yourself bigger than the masquerade, I have come to the end of this meeting. This man doesn't know what this woman here is capable. Congratulations, my dear friend. Thank you, princess. You know, I prayed for this to happen. I'm glad it did. Thank you. <laughs> this calls for celebration. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. If the queen permits that. Of course she will. Then I'm in. OK, so where do you think we should go? Oh, uh, yeah, in the palace, of course. Mm, nah, I was thinking somewhere outside town. Uh, no, the queen wouldn't want that. Can I make you walk? Uh, no. I don't want to go out now. Perhaps when the prince returns, I will go anywhere you want me to go with you. Well, I see. I promise. Agreed. You know what, let's just go to the garden and have some wine. Okay.
Okay, baby. Oh, baby, you are very sweet, eh? So you are this sweet and you did not tell me. <laughs> Stop now, you're making me shy. Oh, boy, it's, it's the truth. You're very sweet. <laughs> and you were stressing me all this while. Why? I only wanted you to prove your love for me. So? You, you wanted me to prove it? You, you should have said that instead of stressing me. Huh? Are you not the man? You meant to know the right button to press. Am I the one that will tell you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad I finally pressed the button. Okay. So, <laughs> tell me, when next am I going to see you? My house is always open for you, you know? Okay. Then, you're expecting to see me very soon. I can't wait. Oh. <laughs> Take care of yourself. All right, I will. Bye. Bye. What a smooth shooter. A cadet knows the button where he go press. Be, be, be. The girls go there for love. What a smooth shooter. If you enter the button, the calico. My queen, I just want to say thank you for finding me worthy to be your wife to your son. It's okay, my dear. Get up. You have to stand up. My queen, I prefer to remain on my knees in full appreciation. You are already on the path to royalty. You can't go to royalty kneeling, crawling. The only thing remaining is for you to get married to my son, which I know will happen very soon. So you have to get up. Thank you so much, my queen. I want you to know that you were chosen on marriage and not on favoritism. I want the best for my son and I found that best in you. It would have been so stupid of me not to have picked you. I picked you because you have everything that my son will need. Thank you so much, my queen. It's okay. I'm honored. And I will forever hold you in high esteem. <laughs> that praise should be for my son and not me. I'm already in love with the prince. Mm. And I give you my word. I will love him, cherish him, and respect him till the end of time. I know that with you, you too will build a great kingdom. I am sure of that. May God help us. And I will say amen. The code you gave me, it worked. Huh. Is that why you're this happy? Ha One there. These excitements and reactions, it's not enough to show how happy I am. I'm really happy, bro. <laughs> cool. Wait a minute. Were you thinking it's not going to work? Well, at a point, I thought it wouldn't work. In fact, I'll not lie. At a point, I started thinking you were using jazz on girls. Seriously. You are crazy. <laughs> you are stupid to say that. How will I use jazz on the woman? Man, for what? See, what I told you is simple mathematics. Uh, Whenever you see a girl, first and foremost, read her psychologically. By doing so, you are trying to find out what she wants. 
That's her fancy. By the time you discover that, follow her in that regard okay. with beautiful lies. Beautiful lies. Yes, I mean, coordinated beautiful lies. With that, she will be all yours. Huh. It's as simple as that. <laughs> professor Omasa. In fact, the Professor Omasa that I call you is not enough. Today I'm renaming you the Professor of Women in general. <laughs> my name. <laughs> you didn't just... you remember, my name is Ekene. Uh -huh. Ekene, 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 Ekene. Kadaba. <laughs> <laughs> You see, eh, your greatest setback is that you don't even know me. But there is something I need you to understand. Eh? You are still a child. Forget about this beard. I've worn it. Why be able to mass? And I'm going to deal with you. And may I start by correcting the impression, the erroneous impression, no double a child. I have grown a bronze my child. Onye bulo ebu ada ata ata. Mo anye nto bali mo obo no muru eji ma no yi that pregnancy is important. Iti kwa na ku ipo ichele. If I may even ask why are you angry? Stop pretending as if you don't know why I'm angry. Don't rejoice yet because you have not succeeded. You see this thing you're planning? This your evil? It will never see the light of day. And if I may ask why are you even crying in the open? Makana kwaki in a bezifa. Our people say that a man, a real man, carries his sorrow in his heart. Mani buzinkegini si na bale. Why cry over a spilled milk? Listen, you may call it whatsoever you want to call it. Is your maker good? That is not my business. But I am looking at you and I'm seeing a man who is the very personification of evil. And the evil you are planning in this community will never work. Which Have you not listened to me? I say it will not work. Which evil, if I may ask? Stop asking me useless questions because you know what I am saying. Stop pretending. Oh, no, I'm learning a poverty. You are beginning to provoke me and I won't take it. What can you do? What did I hear you say now? What can I do? I listen, I did not send you a text message. Neither did I write you a letter. I am looking you right into the eye and I'm asking you, you see your make I go, what can you do? I respected you as you know, but I bet you do not cross the borderline. Because you are not going to find it funny with me. You once threatened to kidnap me and I promised you something. And that is why I later dropped it. You did not drop anything. It is because there is nothing you can do. Let me tell you something. If you continue treating this path you are going, I am going to lift you up and I'm going to get you perforated. You want to bet me on that? If there is any such plan, know it that I will get to the end of it. In fact, I am going to impregnate you. And don't worry about how you can't stop a man like me. If you impregnate me, like you said, I'm going to deliver twins of human beings. But when I get you pre impregnated, hey, it's your cargo. You are going to give birth to rabbit and rats. Because I've been keeping quiet, you believe you can just override a man like me? You see, whatever thing you're planning in this kingdom will not see the light of day. Easy. I'm i I come to think of it. This man may be planning to thwart my plans. So, the earlier the pregnancy, the better. I know what you are. You get bullied. Don't celebrate yet, Because our tradition has not really yet. You sound worried on the phone. Only my world is collapsing. What? Why? Your friend. Your friend is about to jilt me. How? She returned the engagement ring I gave to her. Why? 
She wasn't specific. Why do you have to have, help me, beggar? Else I will kill myself. No, 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 no. You don't have to kill yourself, okay? I will talk to her. You will talk to her? Yeah, I will talk to her. It's not just talking to her. Help me beg her to take back this ring. This is my only hope for keeping her to myself. But Samuel, don't you think she has worn this ring for too long? I know. I know, but I've been gathering money most more. I've been gathering money gradually to do the needful. Honestly, I must tell you the truth. You have to hasten up. You know we women, our time is short. I know. But I'm doing my best. Your best is not good enough. You need to try harder, okay? But don't worry, I'll help you talk to her, okay? Just take it easy, go. I'll talk to her. You know she's my friend, okay? Don't hurt yourself. Just take care of the doctor. I know she's my friend. Don't I tell her she would do, okay? I appreciate it. Just take care. I appreciate take it. Take it easy, okay? I appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Let me go inside. I was busy when you called. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, no. I appreciate it. What are we doing here, ma? I need to see a trusted family friend. You know how these things work. I need to be the one to break the exciting news to them before they get to hear it somewhere else. You stay here and chill, huh? I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, ma. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. <laughs> I am happy to see you. Same here. Good. You see, I still remain Omekako because the lion is still and will always be the king of the jungle. What I am trying to say is this. I hope you cleaned or wiped your anus very properly. Because I am certain no one is following you. Not at all. No. In fact, everything worked as planned. And I am here to say congratulations in a very special way to you. 
Thank you so much. You see, having clocked this model, the prince will have no choice. He will have no other option than to accept you as his wife the moment he comes back from overseas. Perfect, Lee. And I give you all the thanks. It is not yet time to thank me. <laughs> it is now time for the next level in our plans. And that is your fortification and preparation to take royalty through the prince and pocket it forever. Always remember this. I've always known a day like this will come. But guess what? I am fully ready. I have no doubt. I have looked critically at your legs. In fact, not at all. From here, I am taking you to where you will be fortified, straight. And you know what? Anyone that stands in your way shall be wrought. I promise you. I trust you. Shall we? Of course. You are so beautiful. I mean, look at you. Glittering. Whoa. <laughs> I've never seen a woman as beautiful as you in this entire village. <laughs> this is the fourth time you're saying this. Of course. Yes. I can't help it than to repeat it over and over again. I I'm only saying what my eyes can see. What my eyes are saying is what I'm saying. You're beautiful. Thank you. So, um, what's your plan like this weekend? It's not too much. It's just I have some house chores to do. And then I'll now cook for my grandmother. That's all. It's okay. Why don't you come over to my place by this weekend? Let me spoil you a little uh, when you're done with your house chores. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to spoil me with? Mm, it's my little secret, except you have a specialty, then you say it, you have it. <laughs> Nothing really. Just keep something very good for me. Oh, then you have it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you talk. Wow, that's a compliment. <laughs> so that means you're coming? Sure. Wow, then I'm waiting. <laughs> All right. Can you not give me a hug? <laughs> But it's seen us. <laughs> it's all right. Here we go. I'll be waiting. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, can you want mama? <laughs> If I for forget, but you want to talk everything. I don't know why I'm not saying this feeling that the queen made a wrong choice in Esther. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Me looking at her, you will know that she will make a good wife for the prince. See, it is not all about physical looks, my guy. Even in character, she has it. To me, I feel like she's the best amongst all. See, see, those good behavior, to me, it looks like, like pretense. Uh, the little I've known about her is that uh, she's not a pretender. She's a very blunt person. And I think that is why the queen likes her. Okay. If you say so, I just pray the purpose is not defeated. Mm -hmm. No, okay. it will not.
What will I be doing with this? It will be inserted into your private parts. At that ungodly hour, when demons met with mammoths, this must happen before you meet with any man you want to hold hostage. I can do it. Good. I must warn. If it is not up to 12 hours after insertion and you meet with any man, you will run mad. Marie Van Emmen. Okay. It is only when you are ready for the task that you can open the nylon bag. Whatever you find inside will be inserted into your private parts. It will happen by mystic powers. I heard that. Good. What if after 12 hours of insertion, without meeting a man, what happens? Nothing will happen. Where the problem lies is if she meets any man before 12 hours of insertion. In that case, you don't have any problem. She's very intelligent. And I hope you understood everything. I do. Good. Where is Esther? I don't know, my friend. All I know is that I saw her drive out. She left the palace without telling you where she was going to? Yes, my friend. You can go. The number is not going through. without informing me. What is wrong about that? Everything is wrong about it. Don't try it again. <laughs> you would you kill, right? Look at my face. Does it look like one who is joking? Does it look like one who is joking? Ekene, why are you angry simply because I came to your house unannounced? Why? Like I said before, don't try it again. I don't like the way you're treating me. It is only men who cheat on their women that ask to be informed before visiting. I'm your girlfriend for goodness sake. Oh no. Courtesy demands you place a call before coming to a man's house. Not the other way around. Like I said before, don't try it again. I have seen you've gotten enough of me, right? Whatever. It is my fault. I blame myself. But it's okay. Let me be going. Better.
name is Ekene. One of you now for Ekene, Ekene, Ekene. Welcome, Sister Esther. Thank you so much, Obi. How are you? I'm fine. Um, the Queen has been looking for you. For how long? Um, for over 90 minutes now. Did she say something while I was away? No. Just that she's worried. Why is she now? She's inside. I'll see her now. Okay. Thank you. Greetings, Your Majesty. Is Esther back? No, my queen. Where on earth did she go to? I don't know why. <sighs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Thank God you're back. Where did you go to? I really want to apologize for not saying a word to you before I left the palace. At that moment, Your Majesty, you were sleeping. So I thought I would be back before you wake up. But I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Get me a glass of water. Oh, don't bother about that. I'll do that myself. Okay, ma. I don't take my leave. Your Majesty, I actually went home to tell my people the exciting news and they were all happy for me. Esther, next time that you are about to leave the palace, make sure you tell someone about your movement. I will advise that you choose a maiden in this palace to be close to so we can know your movement. All right, Your Majesty. I'm deeply sorry. I promise it won't happen again. You're welcome. Let me quickly get the water for you. Oh, please do.
Thank you. You're welcome, my queen. Thank you. You can sit. Thank you, my queen. Are you aware that my son will be coming back tomorrow? Of course, my queen. And I can't wait to meet him in person. Oh. It's just a matter of a few hours from now. Esther, I want you to be very loyal, faithful, and very obedient to my son. I sure will, my queen. It's a promise. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, I promise you that you will be the happiest woman on earth. Same thing my mother said. And your mother is right. Because that is just the truth. I'm excited, my queen. Just because I climbed her, she now assumed the position of a roommate in my house by coming to my place without my invitation. Who does that? That girl is very, very stupid. But you know what? I'm going to treat her for her. I'm going to deal with her. But, but hold on, I just, I just heard you say she came to your house without telling you first. She actually did that? Of course. Wait. She did. She came to my house without any invitation, without any, without informing me that she's coming. Bro, that is dangerous. Okay. Considering the fact that you play games with women, that is very dangerous. That's not even the, the case. That's not what we're, we're talking about. What if killers are tracing her to my place to come and kill me? Killers? Of course! This nation is dangerous. I promise. There's security everywhere. Hold on, let me take this call. Let's do it. Hello, my love. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. I'm just missing you. I miss you more. Are you at home? No, I'm not at home at the moment. I actually went out to see a friend. Okay, so when are you coming back? Uh, that would be later in the evening. But Obim, why evening? You know I have a business to do in the city. Okay. So, if you're back, I'll be coming in the evening to spend the night with you. Oh. Okay. Okay. That means I'll call you as soon as I get back, okay? Okay. I'll be expecting your call. Sure. I'll call you. I'll call you. Uh, bye for now. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Well, that was okay. Professing her love for me. Undying love. <laughs> <laughs> See, all you need to do is tell her what she wants to hear and she'll be all yours. I can call. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to spend the night with my mom today. You mean Samuel? Somewhere. I'm talking about Ekene, my new man. My husband to be. See, honestly, someone will not be happy for me. He kills himself. Oh. Am I in charge of his happiness? If he ha. kills himself, how is that my business? Please, please don't ruin my happiness because. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so what about the husband? Um, you know, when I get to his house, mm -hmm. we talk about him coming to see my people. Mm -hmm. Wow. That makes so, him serious in marrying me. Okay. Very serious, so very, very serious. You know, I'm very, very happy I met you. Oh, I'm so happy oh. for you, my friend. Congratulations in advance. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Very soon. Mm -hmm. I'll be Obodo Yubo woman. Wow, I can't I'll be wait. Village for you people. You won't leave me alone, no friend. I'll no. go together. I'll, go uh, I'll right. be bringing Obodo Yubo taste for oh, you. Wow, uh, I trust you. You know you're my friend. I can no they use jazz at all. So where did Esther go? I don't know. She went to a bad place. How do you know? Immediately she walked into this palace. I felt an evil 
presence following her. What? Yes. The presence was so strong that I almost choked to death. No, this is serious. You know, each time you have such feelings, it's always a rocking ground. The royal family has made a wrong choice for the prince. And we all will see the negative effect very soon. You're scaring me with those words. The evil is already with us. Brace up for the challenge. Oh my god. the crown prince of Ogodu. The last time you stepped into this circle of peace was on the day of your departure to England for your masters. And today you are back. Stepping into this circle will launch you into a phase of a married prince. You're born into greatness and you remain great. Your enemies will always be under your feet. You obeyed your parents and your children will always be. The wisdom to make good decisions will never be bad for you. As you have brought in light and peace, may light and peace remain with you. Esther, please step forward. Yeah. 
I present to you Esther, a wife painstakingly chosen for you under the strict supervision of your mother. Many came, but she's too tall among them. And that is why we chose her for you. My son, father, step forward so that I will officially hand her over to you. This is Esther, your chosen wife. Father, mother, mm. you always look beautiful. <laughs> Nature made it so, my son. <laughs> You're welcome, my son. Kids, come here. You look ravishing. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks to the gods for bringing you back safely. I'm glad I did. You're welcome. Elders of the land. You're welcome. You're welcome. I greet you all. Oh! <laughs> Are you ready for royalty? Yes. I am ready, my friends. That settles it all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get inside and make merry. If we can Who's that? It's me, Chisum. And who the hell is Chisum? One of the royal maids. Get lost. My prince, the queen demands to see you. If you don't leave that place now, you regret walking up to that door. Your Highness, is this how we're going to be waiting for them every day? I'm tired of all this. You shouldn't be. Honestly, Father, I am. For the past 10 minutes, we've been waiting here. If after three minutes they don't come down, I'll start eating. I can't wait. <laughs> what did the prince say? The prince asked me to get lost. Why? Why did he say so? He didn't give any reason for him. It's alright. You can go. Let me go and find out why he has that to get out. Don't worry, let me check on them myself. Yeah, they are calling us downstairs to come have breakfast. Even at that, babe, the food is not running away. If they are that hungry, they can go ahead and eat. Later we have our... You see, we have always eaten together in this house. It's a culture my father doesn't want to throw away. Babe, you are married now. A lot of things will have to change. Starting from our privacy. I'm going to wait for you forever. Go 
Patsy demands you knock on a door that is not yours before coming in. Are you mad? Am I the one that you're talking to? In this manner? And who the hell are you to add a voice when I'm having a conversation with my son? You watch your mouth, Queen Mother. I will not take any insults from you. Are you talking to me? Mom, you know you caused all of this. You know you have to blame yourself for this very insult. How do you walk into a couple's room without knocking? What if we were naked? I can see that you have grown wings overnight. It's not like you? I see you are coming. How do you mean? From what I saw back there, it won't be long. The Queen and Sister Esther will be at log ahead. Jisoo, we don't understand what you're saying. Speak in clear things so that we'll understand you. What really happened back there? I went to call the Prince and Esther for breakfast. And they refused coming out. Why? I don't know. And this is the third time it's happening. What? That lady is evil. She wants to start eating with the prince alone. That is division on the way. And sadly, if she achieves that, it's going to be the first crack on the walls of the royal family. And the royal family will be thrown in disarray. The queen is a strong woman. She won't let that happen. I'm afraid it's already happening. That's why you always expect me to lick your feet. Time has changed, queen. Esther, I did not come here for you. When it's time for me to come for you, you will know. So let's go and eat. He is not going anywhere. Go ahead and eat with your husband. My husband and I will eat later. I can see that you've made up your mind to divide this family, but I assure you that it will not work. You! You are the one who is dividing this home. Tell whoever that sent you that it is not going to work. I will definitely enjoy my marriage. Esther, is this really you? Is this your true nature that you hid for a very long time? Oh, please, Queen. Do not get it twisted, please. I just stated the obvious. And the truth is bitter. I can't believe that my son is standing here and allowing this fool to talk to you. Your son is now a man. He knows his right and he stands for justice. I can't believe this. Mom, can you please just go? I'm not enjoying this noise. So you are calling me a noise maker? If you say so. Considering the fact that it was you who barged in here and started raising your voice. I can't believe this. You had better believe it. Your son is now a man and you can't control him anymore. Hey, sir. You have drawn the battle line. Get prepared for me. You call it war. But I am simply repairing the things that you have spoiled already. Nonsense. Hope you're okay, darling. Oh, baby, I'm perfectly okay. Yeah. She must leave. She must leave this immediately. What happened? What did she do? I've gotten it up to here. I can't take it anymore. Can you calm down and tell me what happened? That girl spoke to me in a manner I would never accept. She spoke to me in a despicable way and she must leave this palace at once. What did my brother do? He did nothing. He stood there and watched that rat 
insult me. And he did absolutely nothing. My king, do not try to stop me this time. That girl must leave. Cordelia, please, calm down. I will handle it myself. I will not take this father. That girl has to say why she insulted my mother. Not yet, Felicia. Not yet. Calm down. No, father, didn't you hear your queen? Mother brought Esther into this family and she has no right to speak to the queen in such manner. You know what? I will force her into her own court. Felicia, do not walk out on me and start anything without the permission of the king. I told you I will handle it myself. Mother, you are wrong to have barged into the room like that. And as long as you refuse to accept that fact, I will not accept anything you are saying. What is wrong with you? Why can't you handle the issue on ground? Was she supposed to talk back at me while talking to you? She's my wife, Mom. And my business is her business. Not when I'm involved. I am your mother. She is just a wife. Oh, no, she's not just a wife. She is me and I am her. We're a couple. Both of us are one. That is where this generation is getting it wrong. If that stupid thing work out on you now, you can marry another wife and move on happily with your life. But if anything should happen to me, you can never go through with it. There is something called stepmother. If anything happens to you, I will have a stepmother. The difference is very clear. There's a big difference between a biological mother and a stepmother. It's very clear. And look at all these arguments. Chikwadu, your wife insulted the queen of Oboroku. And from their own point of argument, it is very clear that they all happen right in your presence. Okay. Therefore, she must tender an unreserved apology to the queen. I don't, I don't need any apology from her. It is an order. Would an you... order from the king and must be obeyed. With due respect, your highness, I don't need any apology from that thing. <sighs> Father, I don't have any problems with that. But I have to make this point categorically clear. There must be restrictions. There just has to be restrictions in this palace. I'm going to fetch I, I, I don't need her apology. All I want is for her to leave this palace. Your Highness, that girl must leave this palace. The last thing I'll take in this life is to watch any lady insult my mother. I will never take it. What baffles me is that the prince did not do anything about it. The prince is too gentle. If it were to be my mother, she will collect what order. We are here to ascertain the true cause of the problem. So let's not make a hasty conclusion about it. There is nothing to ascertain here. Talking back at the queen means crossing the red line. Exactly. And I will not take it if the queen is my mother. But why would she talk back at the queen in the first place? That is the question waiting for an answer. That goes a long way to explain the true nature of women. The Esther that was very humble yesterday has all of a sudden become a tigress. Exactly my point. The prince needs to call her to order. Else, it will be worse than just insulting the queen. You are very right. Correct. You are very right. Who is mad here? Yeah? It is you! Are you, are you stupid? Are you stupid? 
You see, from the stories you have told me, I don't need any soothsayer to tell me that you have the prince exactly where we want him. Perfectly. It is now time for us to walk towards the reason why you are planted in the palace. Is it Makanawa and Egypt location of Apple Handbag? I am always, always ready to work for you. I have looked critically at your legs. Opa de Coquet, your chairman, where you are here. At all, I had you not chief here more of problem. At all. Now to the master plan. From now onwards, you are a killer. A heartless killer. Only bully so dear Oko. First, you will kill the king, and the prince will ascend the throne, and you allow him to enjoy the office only a little while. Only a little while. A piabo the prince. Can you do that? Of course, this is actually a simple task for me to achieve. And when you have done that, Mungwabuodogu will then mount the throne, if I may bear. And what happens to me after that? You will rule side by side with me as the queen. In fact, my interest in the whole thing is what will accrue from the throne. You are going to be the real king, taking decisions and executing them. My duty will be to stand by you as AK-47. And anyone who stands in your way shall be rattled. You haven't told me how you intend to deal with the Unoro. That man is constituting a very big problem for us. You see, Unoro and Lonyen are poverty. It's just a noise maker. It's only making use of the charms he made at Aguilera to intimidate everyone. But trust me, when the time comes, he shall be rotted. I will tell him when you be able to be alone on our game, Ngongo. And in this business of point and kill, Ngongo is all that matters. I will tell him that I came to Aguilera 10 years before he came. And as such, I have the original Aguilera charm while he has the Belgium brand. I tell you something. What? I trust your capability. Of course. 
I am still Omekago, and the lion is still the king of the jungle. <laughs> Nigga, Alpha. Cool. Oh boy, you need to see what happened in my place. What happened? Ah, that useless lady, of course. She mm. came to my place on an and met me and all her. She did? Oh. Hi! Bro, that serves her right. She I told you, that girl has been looking for something to see. Finally, she has seen it. She has seen it. So what happened? What has happened? Two fighting, of course. Uh -huh. You need to see this fight. They fought, actually. One day, one day, they fought over you. For real. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! You have suddenly turned into a celebrity in Obodoko. Okay. Now them, they rush you now. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> see, guy, I don't know women for that nature of fighting, but this guy, this fight was so real. You need to see uppercut like poop, poop, poop. <laughs> Serious fight. Oh my. Celeb. No, you're only professor. I celeb. Now, don't join. <laughs> Wait, let me play you the video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They were fighting, and you actually pulled out your phone and was recording them. Excuse me. You don't know who Ekene is. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a that. Look, that thing is not my problem. I was just cutting <laughs> crews. I recorded it big time. <laughs> professor. Show me, show me, show me. Show me. <laughs> Come out. Look at it. What? No, I can't believe it. No way. Okay. That's no, so just fight, bro. Oh, no way. They're even fighting like men, not like ladies. Bro, you've not seen anything. See, I'm waiting for a good day. I'm going to upload this thing in the internet. Oh, God. Now, now, one million views straight. Oh, we'll be catching out. You bad, bro. Oh, this is serious. You see, and the, 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 you need to see Ndidi. Ndidi, like, like, all I gave her the beatings of her life. Bro, these girls are crazy. Bro. Oh, wait. <laughs> Professor! <laughs> Support my best crypto on Quidax with just 2,000 Naira. Thanks to their fast devil. Your wife insulted mother. She insulted her in such a way that I will never take. And you're not even doing anything about it. I'm not doing anything about it because she did not insult mother. Talking back at the queen in any palace is considered an insult. Do you mean to tell me you do not know the rules guarding royalty anymore? I don't know where you got that rule that stipulates that you judge a case from hearing from just one party. I do not want to indulge in this discussion with you or anybody. Really? Are you insinuating you support her insulting mother? Mother cost it. She started this and she got exactly what she wanted. Why are you confirming what they're saying? That something is actually wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm being factual. Two ladies got into an argument that escalated into name calling. It's, it's natural, it's no big deal. Where is she? Why do you want to know where she is? I need her to look me in the face and tell me why she insulted my mother. There is no need for that. Go and rest. There's no need for it. Listen, she has to tell me why she insulted my mother. I do not intend to argue with you, okay? I've told you my piece, so just get out of this place. What? If you do not get out, you do not like my next reaction. Don't worry, she will get back to this place and come and meet me. Sounds. mom, say I'm yagging one. She didn't tell you. She didn't tell me what? Sister Esther went out in your car. What? How? I told her you'll be going out in the car in an hour's time. She said you can use another one. This is getting serious. And you're just telling me this now? I'm sorry, my queen, but I was thinking you are aware. Where is my son? He's outside.
Where is Esther? She went out. Is everything okay? Nothing will be okay until she returns with my car. Oh, she says she likes the car. That's why she drove out with it. Are we met? She'll go out with my car without my permission? Wait. Are you saying she did not inform you before driving out with your car? She didn't tell me! And I consider that an insult! I'm sorry, Mom. I apologize on her behalf. She should make sure that nothing happens to that car. Nothing will happen to it, I promise you. Promise. Okay. But why would she go out without telling me? Hey, Mom, she just said she likes the car. Okay, she, she shouldn't like my car! She picked my car, key, started the car, moved with the car without telling me! I've apologized on her. Oh, we met! I'm not coming down, don't tell me to come down. What would she do without telling me? Pick my car key and move my she car? She says she likes the makeup. She shouldn't the... like my car! That means he never loved me. He was just after my body. Yes, after what happened in his house, he would have called to explain or even apologize to me. Keeping quiet means he does not even value me. Maybe he has used me and dumped me and moved to another girl. Why did I even fall for him? No man dumps me and gets away with it. No man. The war had just started. This is unbelievable. Who could believe this? And stuff yesterday has changed. And I'm not going to Why do you go out in the wind sky? I'm sorry about that, Your Majesty. I never knew I'm restricted from using some things in this place. I thought that as I have become a wife, that I have unhindered access to everything. You have no access on things that has to do with me. You have proven to be a troublemaker. Now I am ordering you never to lay your filthy hands on anything that has to do with me in this place. Enough, woman! I am still talking. Kotsi demands that you shut up and listen until I'm done. Why do you claim to know everything whereas you know nothing? Your Highness, are you listening to this low life and decided to give a life? You are the low life one. You have no life, so saying you gave another life is lying before the king. Are you Champions, you slap anyhow. Come on, take those filthy hands off me. Don't you slap her. You are a disgrace. I'm disappointed in you. I regret the day I get back to you. You are a disgrace to manhood. Mother, respect yourself, please. Oh, shut up! My husband does not care about that. For your information, he has been the real man here by not allowing you to control him. Hey, 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 she has to return my mother's car keys. I promise she will never go close to that car again. The key now belongs to me. Your mother can take any other car in the palace. What? You heard me. Did you buy it? Why are you making a fuss over it? You go. I will get to another car. Let her keep this one. Lies. She cannot have my mother's car. If she's in desperate need of a car, you should get her one. <laughs> Just shut up, you rat. <laughs> well, the king already said I should leave. Baby, I have to go now. Right, I'm waiting. Just take care of yourself. Of course. I'll be right after you. I'm waiting for you. Right, Don't take long. I'll be good. I'm out of here. All right, baby, take care of you. My back. Okay, good. 
I'm okay. Don't Come on, Sudan, get out. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Right back at you. Swine. Why are you a swine? I'm going to get out of here. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Look at you. Look at what you're doing. We are laughing. What are you doing? Shut up, you're talking to your mother. Um, my queen, please. I can still find a way around all this complex. Please. My lord, I know that you're a man of peace. But the way you're handling this girl is unacceptable to me. Now you tell your wife if she wants war, I will give her war. Tell her that. I said so. You know, I'm not going to go. 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 But the motto, Sare Capet, Yalamu Flower Bon Bonani, all for me to marry her. And now you want her to go out of this place? As long as I remain the prince in this palace, it will not happen. Can you only find a wife? The war had just started. This is unbelievable. Who could believe this? It's tough yesterday. In one short sentence, why did you call me out? Ola, I want us to talk. We have nothing to talk about. Because you have the gods to fight me in my man's house. Ola, Ekene met me before you. And we've not separated. We are still lovers. Now that's a very fat lie. Because Ekene told me he was not seeing any girl at the time I met him. Now if you were still with him, why did he say that? Ola, that same thing Ekene told you was the same thing he told me. Ekene is into women. Be mindful of what you say. Ekene is too decent to lie to me. Your words just confirm that you don't even know this Ekene at all. Ola, Ekene is using two of us. And he still has other girls in this community. It is our duty to stop him. We need to act now to stop that his wicked act. I don't believe you. Okay, I know it's difficult for you not to believe me, but I want to give you an assignment. What useless assignment are you talking about? Well, now calm down. This is for our own good. Now, listen, I've grown to love Ekene so much with everything in me, so I don't want any information that will make me love him less. Inugia. Okay, you love Ekene, right? I, I, I do. I want you to do something for me. On a very good day, just visit him without informing him. Yes. <laughs> Ola, what you will see, you will be shocked. Is it that he shows you the beast in him for coming without telling him, or you will see another girl in his house? Just carry this task. By weekend, you will see. Hmm? Let it not be what I'm thinking. Let it not just be what I'm thinking. Let, let it not be that Ikene is toying with me. Let it not just be that he's playing with my heart. Because if I find out he is, it will not be funny. Your man didn't funny at all at all. My queen, 
I know you are still very angry. And you may say something that you may let her regret. Huh? I've told you to stop thinking about this girl. Trust me, I will definitely find a way around all these rumblings. Look at what I found in Esther's bag. Hey! I don't need to be told that this is from an evil Dibia. It's good. We are standing on the same page, my lord. Look at our son. He is no longer himself. She has taken hostage of our son. We are going to see worse things than what we are seeing now. But why should Esther go this far? We love her and we choose her as a wife to the prince. Oh no, who told us this, but we never believed him. He did. Ah. That means you know who saw this coming. Exactly. My lord, you've not been making consultations of late. Oh no, who does that all the time? And I am sure that Dibiafa must have told Ono that we made a mistake in this palace. Now, what do we do? I fired her once, but you, my lord, overruled it. And now that we are aware that she's involved in diabolism, I think the only thing to do is to throw her out, fire her, so we can save our son. Yes, and if that is the only way to go about this, please do it without wasting time anymore. Do it! Now you're talking, my lord. Hey! wrong with you and your mother? Why do you always like invading someone's privacy? I am here for the key and I have it. Now let's talk. Get out without my to talk. You must be an idiot to speak to me in that manner. Listen, this is my father's house and I have the right to enter any room at will. And this is my husband's room. Why not get yourself a man and stop claiming your father's properties? You now have the mouth to talk because you're in, right? Listen. If you do not change your behavior, you will leave this house exactly the way you came. And you must be a fool to think that I will be thrown out. This is a wife you're looking at. I am a wife. And I am going to stay until death. You know, when bitches speak, we know by the way they sound. Let's see how this goes. Hold on. Did you just call me your bitch? You were a bitch. You are a bitch and you will remain a bitch. I need you to get out of this room else I will tear you into pieces with my bare hands. You want to fight me, right? You want to fight me. I'll be back. <laughs> this girl is daring me. This girl is honestly telling me! Mm -hmm. Can I wait to be your wife? Oh, of course, you know. Mm. You know I'm going to make a very beautiful bed. Aha, uh -huh. and a good sweet mother. So it's true. It's true you have been counting census of girls in this village. Who is this? What is she talking about? Don't listen to her, baby. No, no, you need to listen to me. Everything he has told you is fake. This guy is not real. And that is why they deported him from Cyprus. Shut up! How dare you come into my compound to feed my guests with such lies? Which one of them is the lie? The fact? That you were deported from Cyprus? Is 
that a lie? Or that you're lying to every girl in this village just to lay them down on your cost bed? Which one is a lie? Will you stop telling all those lies of yours which you know I'm not any of those things you say? Ikene, okay, babe, what is going on here? What is going on here is that this guy right here is a chronic liar. I fought with a girl here the other day. All because she caught me with this fool. Yet, he couldn't wait for that one to be over and you're here. All he does is sleep with anything he's scared. Tell me she's making this up. I'm losing my mind. Tell me what is going on here. Tell me. Of course, baby, she's lying. She's trying to frame you. Oh, shut up. Shut up and be very careful with your utterances because I have solid evidence against you. Ah. So I've been wasting my life. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Anyway, I will lift my face. I'll be back for you. You will hear from me very soon. So you can't say anything anymore. Hey, Kenne. You can't cut your tongue. You know what? Like that lady said, you'll be hearing from me soon. Kenne, you'll be hearing from me soon! <laughs> What's this nonsense? Your sister came here to fight me. What? Why? Your mother must have fed her with all sorts of lies in this world against me. Did she touch you? No, she didn't. But she would have if I didn't square up to her. Where is she now? I don't know. She even left with the car keys. This is just the beginning. Mom, I've been looking for you everywhere. You look stressed. What is it? I went to retrieve your car keys. Oh, yes, yes. that's beautiful. That's my princess. Thank you so much, my darling. You're welcome, Mom. Don't mm. mind that girl. Ah! Yeah, okay. What did you go to my room to do? I went to retrieve Mom's car key. Were you not there when I said I was going to buy Mom another car? Did you not hear when I said if Esther needs a car, you should get another one for her? Let this be the last time you'll confront my wife. And if she tries that again, what would you do? Mom, I swear by God, I will I will so mess her up, she will not know what hit her. So you won't mess your sister up because of that, that, that evil? She's not evil, Mom. You both are the evil ones. Really? I can't believe this. Did you say that? Let me have the car keys. If you are man enough, take this key from my hand. I dare you, son. To God who made me, if by sunset you do not return those keys, you will see the other side of me. What will you do? He has lost his mind. Sit down, madam. <sighs> Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu plus de temps. 
What does they say shall never end? Tend to a humble yesterday. It's now a tigress. Hey, you see, you make a go. Are you not supposed to open the gate for the owner who to drive in? Did you hear the sound of your horn? Have you ever advertised herbal medicine before? What? Well, if your latest madness is driving into people's gates, I am afraid my own is closed. You can look for another gate to drive into. I can see you're going somewhere. Of course. Can you hop in the car? Let me take you to where you're going. We can talk in the car. And you call this a car? I should hop in a car driven by a madman looking for gates to crash into. Cancel a mugo do go by accident. On your plans again. You have failed already. It's that great election. Well, the okra planted by Ishio Mekago has outgrown Ishio Mekago, and I'm asking you, do you feel that okra has outgrown everyone else? Why are you always talking in parables? I don't know what you are talking about. There is something about dark that makes darkness disappear once light is introduced. Will you claim you don't know? Give meaning to what you are saying. Oh no, I'm learning a poverty and stop dancing around with words. The turn of events in the palace is actually your making. You created this entire scenario because you want to banish peace in that palace. And I come here this Inkwo Market Day to look you in the face and ask, why are you doing this? I don't know what you're saying. Can you stand before the sacredness of Unquo Market Day and swear, Ishi Omekago, that you don't know what I am saying? And on the sacredness of Eke Market Day, you may live where you are. Hey, hey, hey! Good idea. You see, people may decide to flog all basquerets, but it remains a sacrilege for anybody to flog the very masquerade that is leading the way. And who is the leading masquerade? You? You see Esther? Esther is going to be disgraced out of that palace. Will you bet me on this? And may I even advise you as a friend? You see, the activities of Esther in that palace is like a moving train. Don't dare stand on the way of Esther. Not even on an open market day, because if you do, you will be rotten. I mean, you will be crushed. Ishio <laughs> Mekago, thank you very much. Thank you for finally confirming that she is indeed there on a mission, a mission initiated by you. I, thank you. I have not admitted anything. But if that is the way you now reason from the ends, so be it. If that is the way I now reason, even when you know I am telling you the truth. Do you know what? So be it. Greetings, lad. Greetings, mom. Sit down, son. We have something to discuss. Mom, if this is about Esther, I am not going to have this discussion with you. I said sit down, because this discussion must take place now. Sit! 
Sit. Are you going to force me to have a discussion with you? Yes, because the situation on ground calls for it. All right. What is it? Chikwadu, if you have lost your mind, have you also lost the girl? Father, I am not in for this long talk. Tell me the reason you have come here. Chikwadu, I am disappointed in you. Let us not deviate your highness. Better. Please, why am I here? Esther must go. And we'll get you a new girl. <laughs> you obviously don't mean that, do you? She does. And that is the decision we have taken as the heads of this royal family. And there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. If I may ask, Father, who found Esther for me? And what do you want to achieve with that stupid question? Oh. I presume you know the answer already. That's why you don't want to answer it. Listen, Dad. I love Esther. Deeply. In fact, she's the sweetest thing in this whole world. She's not going anywhere. She stays here in this palace. Chipado, I am the king in this palace and no one disobeys me. And I am the prince in this palace. And traditionally, I've been trained to not give in to ideas my mind do not align with. In this case, I love Esther and she's going nowhere. Yes. It is obvious that Ikene does not love any of us. He's only catching crews with us, using our body, enjoying us. Mm. Hey! Oh. The most annoying part is that he still thinks that he's very smart and intelligent. Mm. But we need to deal with him. We need to teach him a lesson he can Mom. never forget. Mom! Hey! This guy proposed to me. This guy engaged me. How? Come on, we'll go. He only did that just to get you in his bed. <laughs> it's the same thing he does to everyone, including Mohammed. I cannot make it. I'm here now. The Kenyan that I've come to know can never love any girl. You know why? Because he is a womanizer. And you know what womanizers do to girls? They use them and dump them. Oh, let us quit talking too much and strategize on how we are going to deal with this boy. Let's plan on going to Now you're talking. Hey, girls. There is no any other way than to kill that idiot. What? Yes. Kill him. Yes, and I support you 100%. Hey, if this thing you said, that is the perfect plan, let us kill him. Mm. At least for toy with our heart. This guy will ruin my. Why, you know, he just broke our heart into pieces. Mm. Nah, I can happen, your guy. I can see that you're enjoying the, all the yama yama that he did on you, right? No. But let me tell you, his death will serve as a deterrent to all those humanizers there. Ah, that's. Too we much. cannot, we cannot just die this matter like hey, that. Wow, wow. That is way too much. No, no, no. Hola, no, this is too much. No, I cannot soil my hands with blood. Bikokwa. Bikokwa, no. Shut up. Please. See, we can do other things to him. We can yeah. beat him. I call you here. We can destroy things, break his ribs, anything, break his head. But killing him, please, count me out. Please. I don't want to go to jail. Please. Please. Hola, we can do any other thing. Ruth. Ruth. Killing him is the only way to send a message to his likes, to those guys who behaved like him. Yes! Yes! Ne, Muma, personally, cannot allow him to go scot-free, not after what he did to me. No, 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 Why did it take you so long to get the water? I'm sorry. The princess was using the gas cooker. 
So I had to wait for her to finish. So you value your princess more than me? Shut up and do not talk while I'm talking to you. I'm sorry. So why didn't you use the water dispenser? I don't know how to use it. And you also do not know how to use your smelling mouth to ask questions on how to use it. I'm sorry, but I was thinking the presents will finish your time so I could use the gas cooker. You were thinking? It's a water. From all indications, you've proven to me that you just want to waste my time. Manasa Wadi, I will give it to you exactly the way you want it. Go straight into your room, pack your things, and leave this palace never to return. I promise it will never happen of again. Of course it will not happen again. Because you're living here right this minute. Get out. I'm sorry. Leave! Sounded urgent on the phone. Yes. What's the problem? Yes. It is very serious. And there's a plot to kill your friend. Which of my friends? Ekena, of course. Ekena? Yes. Who, who is making the plot? The ladies he has been sleeping with in this village are planning to kill him. Which a you. They forget that one. They will not do anything. No, no. Don't take this lightly. I'm very serious here. Like they have concluded their plans and they are coming any minute from now. Are you serious about this? I'm very, very serious about it. I'm not joking. Okay, okay. I'll... I'll talk to my friend about it. Please, yeah? if possible, tell him to leave Obuduku for now. <laughs> Stop laughing now. This is not a laughing matter. Do you understand what you're telling me? I love I'm serious. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him about it. All right? Please. That's good. It's okay. Calm down, babe. Calm down, okay? I'll, I'll talk to him. How are you? Where are you going dressed like this? And what are you doing with that bag? Sister Esther sacked me. What? Why? She said I wasted time in serving her hot water. Just that? Yes, my queen. Take your bag and go back. Go back with your bag. Thank you, my queen. And change that dress. Does this girl want to overrule my power in this palace? Okay, it's good that you're here. You came unannounced. Yes, that's because I have a very urgent message for you. What is it? There's a deadly plot on your life. <laughs> By who? The girls, bro. They are planning to take your life. I thought you had something serious to say. It's about the girls. Let them come for it. Bro, I don't, I, don't, I don't appreciate how lenient you are taking this. I heard this on a very good authority. Bro, they will strike any moment from now. Okay, you know what problem you have? You worry too much. You worry for nothing. I look, I've had the better part of those girls. Like I said, they will do nothing. So just relax, chill, bro. One <laughs> uh, Let me talk to you, one man to another. The rage of an angry woman is more dangerous than the venom of a cobra. If I were you, bro, I'll tread with caution. If I were you. <laughs> I said they will do nothing. Just relax, man. Chill. I'm still a Kenny. Have you forgotten? <laughs> Chill. You have no right to sack any worker in this palace. Don't ever try it again. They are under my feet. Stop making it appear like you have more powers than me. As a matter of fact, I have even greater powers than you do. 
That is why you've been deceiving yourself. We have paid your bride price, but your marital rights are not yet performed. So that makes you stand on one foot. And you are the fool who is even standing with no legs at all. Once a woman's bride price is paid, she automatically becomes a wife. What argument are you making? Do you think I know nothing about the tradition of our people? I am a wife in this palace. And if I die today, I will be buried like a queen. Since you know so much about our tradition, I hope you also understand that your husband has the right to marry as many women as he wishes to marry. That may happen in some places. In fact, your husband can go ahead and marry so many wives as he wants. But you see, that husband of mine, he will dare do no such thing. Take this to the bank. When a woman who trusts the spell she has initiated speaks, it's easy to know where she's coming from. And I can see how the spell you cast on the king is working so well for you. How dare you say that to me? You must trust everything. I tell you, the king, that you are not the only one who has the monopoly of news acts. This is the second time your wife is slapping my wife. And I can no longer take it from you. Father, as the head of this palace, you should have asked what caused the problem. Did you ask who initiated the slap? I don't care. And as a matter of fact, she's leaving this palace this moment. She, leaving this palace, not possible. She's not going anywhere. As long as I remain the prince of this kingdom, she is not going anywhere. And you? I don't know what you've given to my brother that has made him lose his mind. Love. Love is what I gave him that makes him defend me. It's that love that will kill you. I need to start taking care of those people one by one. Look at who he's talking about love. Do you know the true definition of love? Maybe you should educate me about that. Since you know too much about love, nothing stops you from leaving this palace. <laughs> of course. I'm going to Baby. Let's go to the bedroom. Of course. Chief Padu. Nala. Chief Padu. This is not ordinary. There is nothing anyone will tell me to believe this is ordinary. Your Majesty, I have this feeling that one of the maids in this palace, I mean those who are under the tutelage of the Queen, the ones that have been groomed for the Prince, I have a very strong feeling that one of them is here with ulterior motive. Ulterior motive? Yes, Your Majesty. In my palace? Which of them do you suspect? The one called Esther. Esther. I know I'm learning Could this be what you saw?
killers are in the palace. What are you talking about? Killers. They've killed all the maidens and all the guards. You need to escape your majesty. Please, this way. here for you, but the king, if you refuse to show us where he is, we will not hesitate to kill all of you and still go after him and finish him. I've told you before, the king is in his chamber. He is not there. If he's not there, then we don't know where he is. I guess you think this is a joke, right? Please, please don't hurt anyone. Please, please. please I beg you. Please, please don't hurt anyone, please. 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 We wouldn't if only you produced the king. We don't know where he is. Can, can, can we send the guards to go and look for him? Yes. They are all dead. What? <laughs> I guess you now understand the message. Chikwado, please don't let them kill me. Please, please don't. Don't, 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 don't. We don't know where he is. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Lord. Let's sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Hey. You sounded distressed over the phone. No police were. Your Majesty, there is danger. I smell danger from within. And if nothing is done to handle what I am talking about. It has all it takes to grow into something we may not be able to handle. And what exactly are you talking about, Emil? You know? Your Majesty, I want to speak in the presence of your wife, the Queen. Uh, the Queen is coming. What can I offer you while we wait for the Queen? What we face, Your Majesty, is mightier than Colonel. You may not bother yourself. Ah, good morning. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Your Majesty. The Queen is here. You may now speak. Your Majesty, I had a dream last night. In that dream, I saw you inside a pit. Absolutely incapacitated. At that point, Almost all the members of the royal family were dead. There was a woman who was standing by the edge. A woman who didn't allow me to see her face, but she was making mockery of you. I know what that dream means. It is something so bad. It is danger for the royal family. And that something must be done to nip things in the board before it comes out in the open. Oh no, just like the dream I had last night. In my dream, killers invaded the palace. They killed three maidens and guards. And one of the guards sneaked the king out of the palace. Your Majesty, without missing words, your reign is under siege. And if nothing is done to handle things the way they should be handled, I'm afraid you may lose your life. At this point, we don't need anyone to tell us that Esther is the evil woman amongst us. The same thing I said from the onset, Your Majesty. She came here on a mission and she has ulterior motive. That is if you will remember. I remember vividly. Thank you very much, Emilio. 
But I know you have all it takes to handle this matter. I leave it for you. Use your own discretion. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> Something has to be done, urgently. Yes, it did. I know what to do. O guada amapa no do we ya de lioba kade uchi onwa o klikli kana buko sa da lienu o gazi amaka mama Nigeria gomo onwe lu million abanye ni tesi ni na oko ju osusu so you don't have anything to worry about. I trust you, and I believe so much in you. But that Onowu is getting closer and closer. I never liked that man. Why can't you just handle this man once and for all? I know him very well. The next thing he will do is to bring in a Belgian Dibia. Makanyana second handed things of And you will allow that? Look. If you allow that to happen, all of our plans will be exposed and we may not even get away with it. You think so? Why do you allow your blood pressure to go high? I am not going to allow that to happen. In fact, from here, I am taking you to where you will be fortified against any Belgian Dibia that he will bring. Like I told you earlier, I came to Aguleri before him. And to fortify you once again, as far as I am concerned, anyone that stands on your way shall be ruptured. What did I say? I am ready. Akuja and Chicotan Chicota. Akuja and Chicotan Chicota. Akuja and Chicotan Chicota. I see a lady destined for the top. On all my Lundiana, if I need to have for Dana to load all of an art to Naira. They have said she will never get to the top, but as far as I am concerned, she is getting to the top. I want you to immune her against any Belgian charm that anybody will prepare against her. It is a simple thing to do. Very simple. Go ahead. Money is not my problem. Go ahead.
It is done. Just like that? Hey, Boko, are you sure one cup will be enough? I don't want you to be stingy about anything. Give her four cups. I can pay for that. I have enough money with me. No charm in this life against her will work. Rather, it will work in her favor. Ever could be great. If um, I call you once, know it that it um, is three um, times. Um, As an other junior, yeah, but you are the only one who successfully went to yesterday and came back. The one under this protection must not lie under oath. It is better to say nothing than to lie. Well understood, great one. Why are you not reading the handwriting of the work? Esther will not last in this palace. Well, she has come to stay. At this point, the queen cannot push her out of this palace. I agree with you, Obi. Because the queen is suddenly behind her. <laughs> it still baffles me that Esther could change so suddenly. She was so homely, quiet and respectful. Immediately the prince came back. Boom! She changed for bad. <laughs> My dear, that is women for you. At the point of looking for a husband, we become so humble and respectful. Once we get what we want, mm, every other person becomes an enemy. But why is it always like that? Well, it is individualistic. Personally, I will never do a thing like that. Or be you that I know, eh? We do worse than that. Please, please, this is not time for this. Please. My question is, is there anything we can do to salvage what is left? This is For how long are we going to wait for this person? If this person is not coming, I will gently walk into my room and take a good rest. Exactly. We might as well go back into the room. When he comes, he invites us to come out. We are actually waiting for a woman, not a man. Whatever. You are not going anywhere. The king is not complaining, so you don't have any rights to complain. And I said, I am tired of sitting at a spot. It's not in my nature. Patience. Esther. Patience. Queen Esther! Oh no! Uh -huh. Here she comes. Welcome, Obani. I'm sorry for keeping you all right. No, we should be the ones apologizing for bringing you out. That's no problem, my queen. Can we start now? Yes. Okay. Who is Esther? I am. And why are you staring at my wife like that? Don't interrupt me again. You are holding the prince down. You are holding him down with charms which have practically turned him against his own family. What nonsense are you talking about? Easy, my daughter. Easy. When I'm done talking, you can defend yourself. The chance you use on him 
will destroy his soul. Hi. And it may even turn him into a monster if it's not destroyed. Hey. I beg you, my daughter, in the name of anything you hold sacred, free the prince with this. <sighs> if he takes this mixture from your hand and drinks it, he'll become normal again and be himself. What my husband feels for me is true love. I used no charm on him. Take it. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When they had to Mama's grave, want to go sing for the women, they always come to me to borrow this fat from me. My dear, to affirm your claim of innocence, please come and stand on that path. and stand on this van to prove your innocence. What do you know? Remove your footwear. I don't even understand. <laughs> If they live in a you stick your nonsense leg on this fact, that will be true. Of course, it's Now that it has been proven that she's innocent, can we go back to our room? Yes, we can go. Your Majesty, it's time for me to go. It seems so simple. That's the way it's supposed to be. But I thought you would have consulted the gods. Your Majesty, what I came to do here is just a simple task. Mm -hmm. Esther! Who is she? 
she have been at? Her problem has joined the girl. What? What offense have I committed? How dare you? How dare you speak to me in that manner? Esther, you slapped me. And I will do that again and again if you do not respect yourself. Let's go over you. Watch and see. Fool! What? Everybody looking at me as if they've not seen me before. Can you follow me, Nello Manya? Eh? <laughs> Do you know the plans? I will tell you. <laughs> the plan was to kill you, the king. And after that, my baby who now ascend to the throne, which is the prince. <laughs> then we will kill him. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you, 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 you. <laughs> oh, yes. And let me tell you something. We are Seeking to that plan. Oh, yes. <laughs> we are not changing it. We are sticking to it. We have so many things that we want to achieve. For you to see a reason and disqualify her. <laughs> I am the brain behind everything. Yes, I am. Yeah, I like that. What you gonna do? That's all she can say. I think my work is done. Omekag. Omekag, you're not a book. You are no longer talking. Oh, my God. 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 Are you pretending not to have seen what happened here? Oh, my God. I'm going to go to the house.
I understand your worries. I promise to resolve it in the shortest period of time. Please. Mother, I think it's about time I am left to go about this my own way. Do you have anyone in mind? I've always had one. Really? Who is she? Come see. I can't remember hearing that name. You know her. You have just forgotten. Please, remind me. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mother. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Who is she? Um, she's a friend. I'm going to introduce her to you and Father soon. No need. How do you mean, Mother? She's not your class. You can't be mingling with such thing. Don't you say thing like that. Why am I even wasting my energy with you? Hey, hey! Now get out. Run. Would you do a thing like this? What's the meaning of this? Why would you treat her as though she's not a human? I am like... not going to have this discussion with you. You'll be traveling abroad for your masters. Not going around mingling with things that don't have a name like that thing. A low class. No name. Listen, Mom. I, 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 no. That girl you chased away that day still remains my choice. I've always had her in mind. I came back to this country to get married to her. But then there's an Esther whom the royal heirs have kept for me to marry. I had no choice. So you cannot marry that girl. Why? We do not belong to the same class. And the Esther that you brought that belongs to the same class you're talking about, how did it play out? Who is that? What is it? Greetings, my queen, my prince. Greetings, my queen and prince. What is it? The king demands to see both of you. Tell him we are coming. Your majesty, he said it's urgent. I said tell him we are coming. Get out! <sighs>
My lord, I thought we had visitors. Sit down. I called both of you because I want to say something very important. Something I have already called the chief priest to pin in Ajay. And I wouldn't want any of you to raise an argument. My lord, when did you start talking like this? It's like the king has regained his composure and command since after the exit of Esther you both found for me. Prince Chukwadu, uh, you are going to marry a new wife and you must be allowed to find your wife by yourself. That is exactly what we are discussing in the room, but I suggest that we... Uh, please, Cordelia, huh? keep whatever you want to say. This verdict has already been sealed on the sacredness of our journey. Prince Chukwadu <laughs> must be allowed to find his own wife by himself, in line with the tradition of Fukuro. And whoever he finds, provided the chief priest did not disqualify her. Thank you, Father. Thank you for finally giving me this task and support to find my own wife myself. Truth is, I already have one. Uh -huh. Yes. I have found a very decent lady I want to marry. In no time, I'll introduce her to you both. <sighs> That's interesting. And I am know she's somebody the chief priest will never disqualify because she's got all the good qualities needed. Good. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I said I don't like it. You called me before coming to my place. That's fine, all right? I'm not here for this drama. Listen, you need to leave here right now. The girls you offended are on their way, and if they catch you here, you are gone. Please, leave now. <laughs> See, I'm not afraid of any of you. I know you guys have plans to kill me, but you know what? It's not going to be possible. See, I'm not here for this stubbornness. I know you can be very stubborn, but this time is not the time for it. Please, can you leave? If these girls come here, you are gone. Go, go. I don't hate you like that. Just go. Leave now. Leave. Are you, are you sure of what you're saying? Are you really sure of what you're saying? I am sure. I am 100% sure. Just leave. 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 Where is he now? He's gone. What is this? What? I told him about that. He said he I'm a left kid. He's not Ruth. there. You told him what? How could you do this now? I can't let you girls kill him. Listen, I don't want to be an accomplice to mother. There are other ways to settle issues than this. Violence is not always the option. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bah! He's not So you are the one that told you that we are coming to kill him, okay? Don't worry. I'm a man, get Maggie. He's going to catch him.
Don't break fast where you be there, sir. Don't reach your time. Hello, brother, please come. Good afternoon. Please, I'm looking for someone who used to live here. What's the name? Kamsi. Yeah, she packed out of here two years ago. She moved? Yeah. Please, do you know where she lives? Yes. Can you please tell me the address? Yeah, she now stays at number 4 Izichi Street. If you enter the compound, that's the only house there. Number 4 Izichi Street? Yes. Exactly. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a nice day. I hope you were not followed. I was not followed. It's okay. So, what happened? What has happened? Those girls, they came to my house, tried to kill me. Hi. Thank God for Roots that decided to show me mercy. But I told you, eh? Can I told you that these are your games will get you in trouble one day. Maybe I told you. So, what do we do now? I really don't know. Maybe you will help me beg them. Uh, uh, I apologize to them on my behalf. Talk to them if, if, if they will change their mind. They, see, you can, if you see their faces, they were very mean, especially that one, uh, that in Didi, in Didi. That, I don't know in that in Didi. Didi, Didi is a witch. Didi is a, Didi okay. is a witch. It's okay. It's okay. If you see her face, eh? Please. Nah. It's okay. I'll, I'll talk to them. I just pray they'll listen to me. But, Mane, I think you need to listen to me now. After this, you need to be serious with a girl. Stop this, these games you are playing. Really. No, no, you don't even need to tell me. I, I'm a repented fellow now. I no more games with women. I mean, I'm no longer a womanizer anymore. Okay, I, I, I'm not. You're done. No, I'm done. You're done. No, for real. <laughs> I'm done. So you, wait, see, wait. You, so, you need, see, this is my life we're talking about here. It was so scary. See, you need to see. See, especially, I know that Ndidi is their leader. That girl, she's a winch. That girl, that girl, if you lose your face, you know she's a winch. You're scary. Of, of course. <laughs> so you they feel like this. Eh? Why are you laughing now? No, no, no. If, if you continue your games now, eh? Shabi, now you be a kene, omongwai, na de kene, kene. Now they came to your house to come and kene you, and you run away. <laughs> so you they feel, relax, my brother. Let's, I will talk to them. <laughs> From today, if you like, see they do it. <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm back. You are back. You are back to mock me, right? No, my love. You know I would never mock you for any reason in this world. I don't have a short memory. I know how it ended between us before you traveled outside the country for your studies. I'm deeply sorry about that. That was not my intention. It was! You made me love you. You made me to think about you day and night. You gave me a hope of a better tomorrow. Little did I know you were only fooling me. How could you say that? Is this true? Is it true?
My prince, I'm gone. You may go. Thank you, my friend. I hope you like it. Enjoy your meal. Mm -hmm. All thanks to you. I had fun today. No. All thanks to you for making our time to come. I just love you, humility, my friends. <laughs> it's nothing. That's just me. No cap. I know. <laughs> you know what? Um, take this for your upkeep. My prince. The one you gave me two weeks ago, it has not finished. There's nothing wrong in having excess. Huh, my prince. At least you'll have something to give anyone who might have a reason to ask you for help. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Take bye care bye. of yourself, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. No, Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. for you for over an hour now. What kept you waiting? There's no point waiting. Why are you sounding like this? My parents do not like you and I don't want to get into that ahead with them. Did she say exactly why they don't like me? She did not say they don't just like you. And you know how things work around here. Listen. Even if I'm going to break them, it will take some time. My prince, I don't understand. Doesn't mean you're giving up on us without a fight. I don't understand what you want me to say. Do you want me to fight my parents because of us? Oh, no. I said they don't like you. It will take a while. Just don't make me say things I'll regret. Please, get hold of yourself. Good day. Uh, my, my, my prince! My prince, you can't do this to me, please! My prince, you can't... My prince! You help me call him, he can't do this to me, he can't talk me like this! My prince! Hey, God! Hey, God! Will I not tell my prince? Will I go for me? My prince, please, you can't do this to me! Hey, God, I'm finished! <laughs> the 
Ik heb het ook niet gepakt. Maar spelen ze vrienden. Ah, look at you. Wat? Eh, eh. Ah, ah, Sit come see. Even if I didn't tell you, you are a very sweet and lively woman to be with. All I ask is to give me a chance to make you a happy woman. Just say yes. This is exactly what the prince said to me. And yet, he couldn't keep one percent of his promises. See, Kenny, all men are the same. Right now, I just, I just want to. I just want to live my life. I don't want to have anything to do with any man right now. I just want to have time to rebuild my life and see how it goes. I'm scared of going into any relationship right now. I'm not, I'm not sure I can date you. Come say, this is where you're getting it all wrong. All men are not the same. Now listen to me. If there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. And if a man has not broken your heart, you will not get the builder that will rebuild your heart. Listen to me, there is a Chinese proverb that says, before you get that Prince Charming, you need to kiss a lot of frogs. See, my dear, before you get to the toppest part of the ladder, you start from the base. The base is usually not easy. It's not, it's not a fun place to start with. But the most important thing is you have a goal and the goal is the top. Give me a chance. I know you're bleeding. I know you're not happy, but I'm going to build it back for you. See, I'm not a bad guy. You can ask around in this town. Ekene is not a bad guy, okay? Please, trust me. Come on. Are you sure? Yes. I cross my heart. You don't break my heart. No, oh, no, come on, baby. Ekene is going to rebuild that heart of yours. Give me a hug. Mmm, sweet girl. I can never know they use jazz at all. Not less waiting out to her, he gets and some coordinated lines. Our guests don't follow, they don't follow. I can never know they use jazz at all. Not less waiting out to her, he gets and some coordinated lines. Guess you don't follow. All the guests you want to test you. Test you. Test them for a game. They want to test them all. I find Jerry, they want Jerry. My couple sweet in the middle. Sweet in the middle. Sweet in the middle. All the guests you want to test you. They want to test them all. Test them for a game. But cake. I find Jerry, they want Jerry. Our guests need the money, cash, a woman, and a weak husband. But they can need their body, chai. What else she would shoot out? A can knows the body way in her breast. The guests go to fall. What else she would shoot out? If he entered a body, the caligo. Sweet 
going on. His line has been busy for two days now. Are you sure all is well with him? It is unlike him to stay a whole day without calling me. What will I do now? without informing me. I don't like it coming to my place. You should call me first. Tell me you are coming. I can have been calling you for so many days. And up to now, you have not picked my call. What's going on? And your line is telling me busy. Then if my line is telling you busy, that means I'm busy. When I'm free, I'm going to call you back. I'm old enough to take care of myself. Don't be worried about me. You know what's going on? I've been, I've been calling you for days now. What is going on? I say... My cousin, she's my cousin. Hi. Why is your cousin not responding? Um, well, I'm done taking my dates. Could you please come and apply for my back? Okay. Um, um, after you, after you. Kenny. What's going on here? Who is she? What? You've seen what you want to see, right? Kenny. You can leave. I'll be right there with you. You can leave. I'll call you. Hey. 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 Oh, 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 this happened to me. Courtesy of you. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry, and that is why I have come. I haven't come for us to continue dating. I want to make you my wife and please, please, don't say no. How will I say no to you? Please don't. Don't leave me again. If you leave me, I will kill myself. I swear by everything I believe in. I will fix everything. I everything I have done wrong. I promise to fix it. I'm so sorry. It's okay, I'll make it up to you. I promise you in any way. I am crazy about you. Just give me some love. About you. Forget our agreement. I am mad about you. 
Didi, thank you very much. Thank you so much for agreeing to meet with me. Uh, the reason I called you is to honestly beg you, please, forgive him. You're just telling us nonsense stories. Okay, for that, your friend. If you die your stupid friend, he will pay for what he did to He will pay. See, if not that, that uh, useless girl, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. Roots. Roots, that stupid girl sabotaged our plans. By now, he would have been a dead pig by now. C calm down, calm down. But again, I thank God that your plan did not go the way you planned it. Check now. If it had gone the way you planned it by now, you'd be chilling in police cell by It doesn't now. matter. Uh, I say it doesn't matter. Uh, See, I cannot beat more than he can chew. But let me tell you, if not for Ruth, eh? if not for Ruth, I swear with my, in fact, I swear with my life, I would have that you taken. Eh? Ruth was his saving grace. Hey, both of you are still sounding angry. I'm begging now. Eh, Cholu, Cholu, eh, you get you. I'll get you, Kana, Bogi. If you die, your useless friend. Die, your useless friend. Tell him. Tell him that he must pay. Nya, I got. Let me not just say anything. Eh, oh, moi. Moi, bon, amma. Kanu, fia, me, my. My man, the man that's supposed to marry me, the man that's supposed to come and pay my bread price, all because I thought I was, I, I had a serious something with that stupid boy. I, I went to not tell him that uh, another man engaged me. He must pay, oh, he must pay. But, 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 from all education, that guy used charm. Oh, man, I thought I'm following. Oh, you thought I'm following. I thought I'm following. Uh, how can he get every girl he talks to in this in this community? Imagine it. Check his yellow. Hey, Biko Biko Biko, calm down. Let's not go there. Eh, here now, you Biko. Eh, Kayapi and Nitana Bani, Koblamosi, Didi. Okay, eh, what is this? Stop, 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 stop calling my name. Biko, Biko, Obiki Juro. Eh, Ola, Biko, I'm begging. Eh, see, let me tell you. It's because you're begging also. In fact, it's because of Chukwu Okika. It's because of God. Makachina Kao. We fear that guy, Mirai. Oh, Mirai, I tell you, Oh, Mirai, tell him. Goat. Just go and tell him to go and buy a very fat goat, white goat. You should take it to the church and give Thanksgiving. Not a way for it. Yo, Mirai. Let me just leave it because you're begging us. Don't worry. In fact, eh, he is lucky today. But the next time we are going to visit him, eh, I will make sure eh, I deal with him because that guy, Mirai, what you see is me. Let's go. I know, Banata. Echibunta. Echibunta. Yatra, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amanna, Amanna, Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. It's been long I've visited the palace. Don't worry. Very soon, here will be your permanent abode. Are you sure your mother will accept me this time around? She doesn't have so much choice in this now. <laughs> the king has spoken. He has taken a decision. And nobody can defy the king's words. I know. Just that mothers have their ways of influencing their sons' decisions. Not in this context. Mm. It is you I want, and it is you I am waiting and I have come for. I lost you before. I will not lose you again. Just that I feel nervous. I understand. I know. I know. But then, I assure you, everything is going to be all right. Are you okay? sure? Yes. 
Let's go in. Prince Chupado, father. <laughs> Thank God he found her. Greetings, Mom. Welcome. Thank you, Dad. Greetings, Your Majesty. Oh, you're welcome, my daughter. Oh, <laughs> look at her, looking innocently beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> father, I am sure you both know her, but for the purpose of documentation, I'd like to do Oh, there is no need for that. We know her already. <laughs> You're welcome. Exactly. Thank you, Your Majesty. And uh, as a matter of fact, her marriage rights should start immediately. <laughs> you don't need to waste more time. I wish it's happening today. Anything is possible, but we still have to tell the path of tradition. Exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs> First, she should be presented to the elders. And after that, her bride price will be paid. Thank you, then Father. comes the big marriage rites. I'm see once again you're welcome to this royal family. Thank you, my queen. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, my princess. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. I'm sure. I talked at length with one of them and they have agreed to shit their soul. Okay? But, Anne, it's high time you stopped playing this game. Seriously. See, if there's any of the girls that you love, pick that person and be serious with her. Stop using and dumping them. And for me, for example, now me, I'll be getting married to my old girl very soon. Anne, Mulanyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. See, I'm done playing this game. I'm done. not gonna do it anymore. Yes, I'm done. It's okay now. So bad, bro. Just uh, relax, freshen up. We we'll see later in the evening. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I think you uh, yes, I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. You're done. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's me, Rose. Thank you for saving my life. It's nothing. I brought you food. I know you must be very hungry. Of course. Very, very hungry. <laughs>
Hope you like it. It's what is good. Do you mind joining me? It's for you, you my dog. Oh! <laughs> my young man, you are beautiful. And yet you know how to cook. <laughs> hey! Mmm, fine woman. Mmm. Everything about you is sweet. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Tell me, when are you coming to pay my bride price? The bread price. Mm. This weekend. This weekend, a guinea is coming to pay your bread price. <laughs> hey, beautiful woman, I can't wait to have you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Inform your family members, tell them that a guinea is coming to pay your bread price. <laughs> mm. Just enjoy me. Thank you. Mm. Good food. Mm -hmm. It's it up, it up, it up. Yeah. I can't hear my brother. You seem to be in a hurry. Who is after you? No, I'm not in a hurry. I'm nothing is after me. Rather, I'm after something. I'm coming to your place. Very important. Very important. What's the problem? See, I'm getting married this week. Uh, you're joking, right? Don't look like someone who's joking. I said, I'm getting married. I, can I, I don't understand you. You are really acting weird. What, what is going on? I'm not weird, okay? See, it came up urgently and I'm going to follow it urgently the way it came. Say, I'm getting married. Guys, I've just come to tell you, I'm getting married. You're getting married urgent. Okay, so who are you getting married to? To the beautiful one that saved my life. Ruth? Of course. I, I, can I, I really don't understand. You're acting... This is not you, Ekene. You're acting very different. This is me. This is me. See, all you need to do is to follow me to go and marry my wife. Okay, okay. When will you get the money to marry her? Because I remember last week you told me you needed money for your crayfish business. There you go again. Now listen to me, my friend. Crayfish business is not the only thing I do. I have other chains of businesses I do. See, I don't need all the money in the world for getting married. I can, uh, this is not you, seriously. I don't know what you're talking about. This is Ekene. This is Ekene. Okay, just get ready. See, my name is Ekene. Why are you open up for Ekene? You may check Ekene. Yeah. Hey. 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 Uh, my son, you are welcome again. No, um, thank you, sir. Darling, you know, as tradition demands, I have to call my daughter. So if she gives her consent for us to go on with drinking your drinks here that you brought, we go on. And that is the tradition now. It's okay. Um, Ruth! Ruth! Yeah? And we'll all be ever. My daughter, do you know this young man here? Yes, no. Good, good, good. You can see the drinks he brought. And he has come with this his friend to be his witness on this his first visit of knocking on our door. Knocking on my father's door for what? Okay, me not showing you. Now why are you looking at him like that, like you don't know what you have done? Papa, as a matter of fact, you see this lunatic dog of a man sitting over there? His name is Ekene. A deportee from Cyprus. He came back with nothing, Papa. You have mind, though. You came to my father's house to marry me, okay? Hmm. 
Papa, as we speak right now, there are women in the village that he promised to marry and they are after him to kill him. And he's here in my father's compound, knocking on wood, knocking Nebe, and what's it forever? Ruth, my lord, Ekene has not come to deceive you as he deceived other women, according to you. Maybe he has changed, but he has come to start the process of taking you as his wife. God forbid! Take as wife. What is going on, Ruth, my love? Why are you acting as if we didn't agree on this before coming to see your father? We had an agreement before bringing my friend to see your father. What stupid agreement, okay? What stupid agreement? Who will we ever, like which woman in her right senses, who want to marry a cursed, cursed, dead, working man like you? In case you don't know, in this village of Boluku, you are cursed. And no woman will want to marry. So as you stand like this, I am seeing you dying single. You are going to die single with nothing to hold on to. Foolish man. And Nambiko, you are going again. I better take my leave right now. But make sure this thing takes whatever he brought, whatever costing he brought along with himself. Roots can never settle for a public toilet. Wait, 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 bro, 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 wait, wait, wait. Does it mean you didn't discuss with her before bringing me here to be insulted? I've never been this confused all my life. I had an agreement with her before coming to see her father. I don't really know what is going on. Uh, my son. <clears throat> Presumably, she brought you here in her father's compound to give you a piece of her mind so that the spirit in her father's compound will bear her with us. That's all I can make of this. The person you have come to marry has rejected you. You should be leaving already. Huh? Or is it me that you have come to marry? Please leave. Leave! I can make it, bro. Okay, I can make it. Let's go, please. Let's just go. Quick, man. Please leave. My Has anyone managed to get information on why Esther went mad? Why should we bother ourselves with that? Kansi is going to be a princess in this kingdom. That is the big news. And that's all we should be discussing about. Just so honestly. I am so, so, so happy. I mean, I am happy for Kamsi. I say it again, my dear. Her case is that of a rejected stone rising to be the chief exactly. cornerstone. Just when we thought we've seen it all, God shows us that promotion is indeed an act of God. Indeed, my dear. Right. Obi, I am still interested. What really happened to Esther? <laughs> She's now a complete lunatic. But yeah. <laughs> wait, what punishment do you expect for the one who had the mind to catch the prince with charms? Hi, scholastic. Who told you that? The princess told me everything. Hey. Yes, she said she confessed that she has been the one behind all the evil happening in this palace. <coughs> I do not have any pity for her. <coughs> that, she just do that, that lady is evil. evil. Out of evil. Hmm. My dear, I can't believe this. I will never try to defend my actions. I messed up terribly. I judged you wrongly. It almost consumed me. But you were not consumed. 
God knows that we are meant for each other. And that is why he truncated everything. <laughs> See why I love you. Your maturity is the biggest part of all this. You gave me a break when I needed one. And you didn't stop writing me those beautiful poems that kept me going. <laughs> Bless the gods the day they brought you into my life. I will love you for the rest of my life, Obi. I love you. I love you. I am not going to engage you again because it will no longer give you the joy it gave you before. But you are going to keep it. I'm going to marry you this weekend. Hey. And then you will have the real thing. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you for accepting me back into your life. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I always love you. I love you. I love you. Israel. Israel. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bro, relax, calm down, calm down. Hey, bro, calm down. I don't know why Ruth would do this to me. No girl has ever rejected a kid. It's crazy. And the first girl that rejected you is the one you went to marry. It's just crazy. Eh? In fact, her uncle said it all. She merely lured you to her house to tell you a piece of her mind. This is a great stigma. The only way to avoid this stigma is to leave town. Seriously. My, I even felt my, my heart. Okay, what is it? My head is feeling. Again, again, hey, again, 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 come, 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 come. Let me take you to the hospital. Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. Again, no, don't, don't do this. Again, hey, hey, easy, 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 easy. Hey, hey, bro, 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 bro. Hey, bro, bro, bro. Easy, 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 easy. Again, hey, 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 easy. Again. You know, it has always been your wish that the prince be allowed to choose his wife by himself. Eh, not just the prince, Onyeze. The same custody should be extended to all the young men of this kingdom and even beyond. Any man who desires to have a wife must be allowed to be the one who will choose that woman he will spend the rest of his life with. You are very correct. And on that note, come see your Chuku Denga. Your Majesty. I welcome you to the Palace of Oburu. Your father has already named you a wife to the prince. But today, I call you the future win of Oburuku Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Come see, you're welcome to this royal family. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank My you. son, Father. Congratulations. Thank you, Father. <laughs> and I want to make a promise before the honorable and the royal heads of this land that I will cherish and love my prince for the rest of my life. Oh, yes, you can actually see that it is coming from the heart. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, the little mama. Yes. 
Who let it us out? Who let it us out? 